is on Sunbelt Conference play for the ULM Warhawks and the Mountaineers of Appalachian State here at Malone Stadium in Monroe, Louisiana. Absolutely, man. App State here looking to shake off last the cobwebs from last week and that heartbreaking loss to Wyoming. Alongside Desmond Lighton, the two-time All-American at Me State, Chris Harris with you. Terry Bowden and his ULM Warhawks coming off a of bye week. They're 2-1 and one to start the season. And for App State, led by Sean Clark, they are sitting at 2-2 two and two back from Wyoming. It's 89 degrees at kickoff. By the way, it's 66 back in Boone, North Carolina today. <laughs> Joe, by the way, here's some key players for today's ball game. Nate Noel, well, what more can you say about Nate? 105 rushing attempts, 542 yards, second in the country, 26 attempts per game for Mr. Noel. Yeah, he's definitely that guy that Coach Vic Coning was definitely looking at, like, we're going to have to take him away and put the game in the Aguilar's hands. 500 yards, 42 yards, and less than five games, he's balling. For ULM, well, they need some big plays from this guy, Ty Howell. 15 catches, 172 yards. He has one touchdown. They love to add to that. Yeah, t teams have been keying on him, which he's actually opened up the running game. But I guarantee you, Coach Kubik is going to get, get him the opportunities that they get in the red zone to get a shot. So Ty Howell and on the other side, Nate Noel, our key players for today's ball game as we head down to the field. Like I said, it's a little bit warm today. The heat index was up. But ULM, of course, the bye week Desmond last week for Appalachian State. Boy, a heartbreaker for Coach Clark and his guys, leading 19 to 7 with 11 minutes to go. They fall 22-19 against the Cowboys. The last five minutes of that game was crazy. They, and, and yet, Aguilar had the ball in his hands with the opportunity to score a walk-off touchdown through an interception. Definitely left a soft taste in their mouth. Here's head coach Sean Clark, fourth season as the head coach at App State. And there's head coach Terry Bowden. And, uh, of course, <laughs> the legendary Bowden family. We'll talk more and more. He's got a little bit of an interesting history with this App State team. Both West Virginians, by the way, said we're blood brothers because we both uh, are West Virginians. What do you call it? West nature. by God, Virginia? <laughs> there you go. Third season at the helm. App State, they did win the toss. They deferred to the second half. So ULM will get the ball first here at Malone Stadium. Sunbelt Conference play for ULM at App State. It starts here today in a touchback as ULM will get the football to start the ball game at the 25-yard line. Man, both teams itching. I can only imagine Appalachian State coming in here. Two tough losses this year. They're two and two, but both of those losses, one possession ball games, one of them double overtime to North Carolina. And, you know, now they get to start with their offense on the field, or defense, I should say. Hughes with the touchback, and here comes Jaya Wright in this offense for ULM. We talked to Coach Kubik on Thursday, Desmond, and, and they kind of did a self-scout of themselves. You know, running the football, this team top 25 in the country, over 200 yards per game. But going to be interesting to see what they do today offensively as they come out passing, and there he is, How with the reception as he picks up about five yards. Yeah, definitely, you could tell what, what was the... The thought of the week, let's get the ball in our playmaker's hands, uh, Coach Cupid's words. That's a script, right? That's a scripted play. They want to try to get Ty hot early. For ULM, the offense, 206 yards per game. That's third in the conference, 21st in the country, running the football, only 95 yards passing per game. Pressure up the middle and the pass incomplete. And that'll bring up a third down situation here for ULM on their first drive of this ball game. For App State, the defense, you know, they've been a team that, that's come up with some big stops. They have really been good against the pass. They're first in the conference, top 10 in the country, 155 per game. We know they want to uh, make Jaya Wright beat them today. Yeah, trying to put the ball into the fresh quarterback's hands. And ULM, once again, self-scouting. Self They're trying to break those tendencies, which is where that play action on second down comes from. That was Sean Collins, by the way. We'll talk a lot about him. The redshirt sophomore right on third down, flushed out of the pocket. He's going to be hit. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Just the fifth sack allowed by that ULM offense. And it is Sean Collins. And Collins with a couple of big plays. Redshirt sophomore from Montclair uh, High School there in New Jersey. Transfer from Rutgers. Big week last week. What a start for him today. Yeah, I'm biased. You know, former defensive lineman here. I think the sack is the most exciting play in football and just really is demoralizing. Way to get off the field on third down there for App State. He had a laceration on his eye. Had stitches at halftime last week. Somebody poked him in his eye? Yeah, oh and, well, it, but he came back, played the second half of the ball game as Caden Robinson back deep to receive the punt. Punt away from Gilbo, his 19th of the season, and a fair catch taken 
They're just inside the 25-yard line. So first possession coming up for Appalachian State. Sitting at 2-2 two two on the season. And, well, I know that was a difficult loss for them last week. And, and I, you know, we kind of joked with Coach Clark and, and, and their coordinators about scoring in the red zone. You know, four field goals in that first half and having to convert those into touchdowns today. Yeah, talked about how frustrating it was because they had the plays dialed up. You know, a wide receiver goes to the wrong spot here, quarterback misses a read there, and you end up with a field goal. They're going to definitely push that issue this time. So uh, Appalachian State on the field for the first time. This offense led by Joey Aguilar. Pass across the middle is caught. <laughs> what a catch by Deshaun Davis. Pulls that one up off the turf. Yep. And Deshaun Davis with his 15th catch of the year. He had five different receivers in that first quarter last week. Spreading it out. And just a great job there in the slot. Making that safety choose. Running that post. You had a seam right on outside of him. He snuck it in there. Shotgun formation again. They'll run it this time. And there is the man. And that's Nate Noel as Noel is met at the line of scrimmage. Not much there. But how about Nate Noel coming into the ball game, Desmond? 135.5 yards per game. That's an FBS high on 26.3 attempts, also an FBS high. Yeah, that's going to be a win for the ULM defense. They're holding them to two. Aguilar took over at quarterback during that first game of the season. And he's done a nice job. He has good protection there. His crossing route pass is complete over the middle in ULM territory. And App State already on the right side of the field as that catch made by Caden Robinson. And Redshirt Jr. from Asheville. They're really stretching these zones here for ULM. They come out in the trips and sit him. He runs a curl route, sits right down in the soft spot. Little, little stick. Quarterback puts it on him. After that rush by Noel. Now a play over on the left side of the field. Like Ball fumbled. lost and ULM's caught it. Fumble picked up by the Warhawks. Man. Well, they get back to that play, but have to see how that ball came loose. But yeah. ULM, they've been on the plus side of these turnovers, and they get one early today. Ball-hungry defense, man, all season. And App State's trying to run a little tempo, trying to keep catch ULM off guard, and it was a positive play before the fumble. So we'll have to go back and maybe take, here's a look at this one more time. Let's look at it from that other angle as the pass Just complete, and then... Just lost by Caden Robinson there. Yeah, just a just a great tackle on the edge there. Put his hat right on the ball and popped right on out. So ULM back on offense. Let's say ULM defense on the season. They've gained seven turnovers. This is their fourth fumble forced this season. Handoff goes over that right side and a couple of yards on the handoff to Hunter Smith, who had back-to-back. -back 100-yard gains to start his season. Yeah, they ran a similar play last drive. It was a play action. This time they actually handed to Hunter. Just trying to keep App State on their toes there, but App State's sitting at home. Good job. They're, right now they're winning in the trenches. Second down and eight here for ULM. Second possession. App State putting together a solid drive. Right flushed out, pass incomplete. <laughs> and mm, that was a tough pass to handle for out of the backfield Hunter Smith there. Yeah, yeah Jaya kind of put him in a bad situation there. Chris threw it behind him. He had a running a linebacker dropping the cover and laid the wood to him. So it's third down and eight. This ULM offense trying to get something going here offensively. I know for App State, they were going to key on this run for ULM today. What have you seen so far from this defensive front? I know you were going to keep an eye on these guys up front. Yeah, they're looking athletic off the edges there. Obviously, the sack on the first possession. Back to pass. Jaya Wright flushed out of the pocket. He'll throw deep down the field. Pass is underthrown a bit, but it is caught on that far sideline. And uh, the catch is made by Wiley. Talk about giving your wide receiver a shot at the ball. Double coverage on the run. Flush by that App State, App State rush. And he just puts it right where his guy can catch it. Drops it down the chimney. This, this is just pure what athleticism here. Look at Wiley go up there, Desmond, and how did he hang on to this football? Caught it and number 19's arm at the same time. Coming with me is what he told me. Going to review it probably. Oh, they're booing right now, looks like. An incomplete pass. Incomplete, an incomplete pass. 
Looks like that was an expedited change of the call, call there. They are going to take a look at it, it appears, though. Yeah, I mean, on first glance there, Chris, it looked like he secured the catch with a foot in bounds. Javaro Edwards, our referee. One more time here, but what a great pass yeah. here from Wright. It was underthrown a bit, but giving his his guy, Wiley, a chance to make a play with some great coverage. Yeah, and I could argue, you know, that was just about on the edge of passing defense. You see that when those underthrown balls, it's really tough on the defensive back because they're, they're beat, they're running to try to catch up, and then it, the wide receiver slows down at the last minute. You run into him, you get P.I. So they try to teach the, the DBs to get your head around, at least, and the, and the referees will give you a little bit more leeway. Ethan Johnson, that was the defensive back on coverage. If that ball doesn't move, that's catch. Well, he got that foot in bounds. There's no doubt about that. So now it's just, does he maintain possession through the catch? Ethan Johnson, one of the best covered corners. He's in perfect position. But Wiley, who came into today's ball game, just five catches, 56 yards on the season. Transfer from UMass. So yeah, that part, they're looking at a couple of things. They're looking at where was the foot at at the time that he made the catch? Did he maintain possession as he went out of bounds? Let's see what he got here on the call. Here's Javaro Edwards, our referee. For <laughs> So a catch as that pass is caught. And the biggest play of the game, other than that fumble, of course, a big passing catch for Jaya Wright. How about Jaya getting benched early in the season, coming in for a hurt Hunter Herring, and then, you know, having the reins kind of pull back on him. But now just going out there making play. That was an athletic make it, make, make it happen play for him to put that ball up and give his player a chance to make it. You know, talking with Coach Kubik, the offensive coordinator for ULM, you know, kind of doesn't feel that pressure. Somebody breathing down his neck as they're knocking on the door of the red zone here. Hand off. No, he keeps it over this left side. And if you pull down, that was one of those options. And he chose to keep it that time. Running not necessarily one of his biggest strengths, but we'll see that look from time to time. Yeah, don't see him pull it off. And maybe one of those, let's break a tendency here. He looks to fin back. He's going to wish he gave it because the, the end did not cover contain. Came in when Hunter Herring got injured. May have had a jump there. I don't see a penalty. There is a penalty it. marker. Here's a free play That's to the end zone. It is caught in the end zone. Touchdown, ULM. Touchdown, Darian Wiley. Darian Wiley must have ate his Wheaties today because he is balling right now. Two back shoulder passes, two long completions. That was his drive there. Offsides on the defense is the call. The result of the play. And, and kudos to the referees for letting this play go. You see all too many times where they'll blow it dead and OCs and quarterbacks lose their mind. Like, look, give us a shot at throwing the go ball. So ULM strikes first here at this 11.03 mark. And they needed some things to happen in their favor today. The fumble, the first huge event in this ball game. Now the PAT from McCormick to make it 7-0. And he knocks it through, and Desmond, what a start for ULM. Remember that third down, that third down back shoulder bomb if this thing comes down to the wire. A fumble, an overturned call, and a beautiful pass and catch from Jaya Wright to Wiley from 22 yards out. ULM, off to a nice start. The holidays are coming to the Home Depot with free delivery on over 2 million items. So let the prepping begin by dreaming a little bigger and lighting up your home with a lot more joy this season. Get holiday ready at the Home Depot. Things are not gonna go on well. Big promotion, made me brand ambassador. We gotta come up with a drink name, but it's not easy, right? Nowadays with social media, the kids, it's gotta be authentic. How are people gonna connect you with Duncan? Yeah, I'm a Duncan guru. I'm not seeing it. Ice Spice, my fans are the Munchkins. Where are you going with this? Ice Spice. Munchkins drink? I got an idea. Collabs like they do, right? I spit buys with you. We're called Vanilla Ice Spice. Here I am. I'm with Duncan. You go. Look, Mom. I found one. Oh, yeah, you did. But we need an ATM from our bank, unless you want to spend a small fortune in fees. <laughs> no, thank you. Banking with BMO means more fee-free ATMs than the two largest U.S. banks combined, including places like pharmacies and grocery stores. Saving money and more convenient. <laughs> Look at you being so helpful. What'd you expect? You're standing at a help stop. 
That's you. <laughs> that's me at a desk. When a bank helps you get and stay ahead, that's the BMO effect. When Target's threshold decor welcomes more seasonal style for less. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you get low prices on the trends you love. That's totally Target. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. Back here in Monroe where ULM and Jaya Wright. They're on top of App State 7 of in this Sunbelt opener. Alongside Desmond Light and Chris Harris with you. And what a start for Darian Wiley and Jaya Wright as ULM kicking it away to App State. And it will be a return this time for App State. And they'll start just shy of their 25-yard line. But a fumble, an overturned play in your favor, and then just some beautiful passing and catching. Yeah, and two plays that could have went App State's way. They flushed Jaya on, on both of those plays, and he made a great pass on, on the sideline. It looked like he's found his guy. And you, it's, it's pretty interesting to see which, di which type of relationships develop. And it generally starts at practice. So it shows me he probably had a good week of practice with by that target. Way, by the way, Milan Tucker on that return for App State. So they'll try to even this score, not even five minutes into this first quarter, as the quick out goes, and it's dropped out there on the side by Stroman. Trying to set up that bubble screen. But obviously the first punch has come from ULM in this ball game. It's been a tough start to this season for App State. And the fact that, of course, last week they're playing at 7,000 feet of altitude in Laramie, Wyoming. They're at 72 feet, by the way, elevation here in Monroe, by the way. Second down and 10. Flip goes to Noel. And Noel ripped down by the helmet. Figures there. No flag on the play, but Vingers, who has been electric for this ULM defense this year. See this one more time. Yeah, that's the play before on the drop pass on the bubble screen. But yeah, they just do the down. They try to run a little toss, create an extra gap by running that bunch on the bottom of the screen, and Vingers read it from the start of the play. They say, uh, coaches like to say, pull your trigger. When you see it, it's clear, go. So third down here for App State on the season. They are 47% on third downs, fifth, 29th in the country. Back to pass, Aguilar has a man on the crossing route, is tight end. And that's going to be well short of the first down as Eli Wilson made that catch. But yeah. fun formation here for App State, a stop for this ULM defense. Chance to go up two scores, yeah. App State tries to, they got trips at the top and they run them off and they run a shallow cross, hoping to get the ball to their tight end in space and he can outrun the linebacker. Good job rallying to the ball by ULM. Great net, three and out. So punt formation for App State here. Mitchell Lake, the punter. Of course, he is an Aussie, Desmond. Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. As he gets that uh, pretty traditional style kick away. And that one will take a ULM bounce, but it'll be down to right around that 30-yard line, just inside the 30, where ULM will take over. But uh, nice uh, stand there defensively for ULM, and now their offense, and we'll see if Jaya Wright. How about this game plan from Coach Bowden and Coach Kubik uh, coming out and throwing? Yeah, and it's like, okay, you're going to try to take away our running game? What is that going to tell me? They're playing to run, so we're going to throw the mm -hmm. ball. We're going to put the ball in Jaya's hands and tell him to go make some plays. And him throwing those back shoulders shows he has trust for his wide receiver crew. Jaya Wright coming into the ball game, 17 of 37, just 164 yards. That was his first touchdown pass on the season. He has two interceptions. So Wright off to a fantastic start. Three of five, 71 yards. Going to pass to that far side of the field. And some running room. Guess who it is again? It's Wiley. Yeah, it was kind of a giveaway pre-snap. If you see the receivers are in trips, bunch, and they're, they're really far away, they're trying to kind of create a space where they can run that bubble screen, where they can block. Apologies, that was all red. Luke, that's his first catch of the season. By the way, for All Red Luke, I know they've wanted to get him into uh, the game, other games this year, but just have not uh, been able to do that. 
Same thing with Bugs. They got so many weapons there in their wide receiver room. Just got to give them touches. Jaya Wright, the graduate, Fort Wayne, Indiana, transfer from Scott Community College in Kansas, pass over the middle. He is broken up, and there's a flag that comes in late. He asked for it, and he got it. Thunderberg on coverage of Wiley, which has not been an easy assignment so far in this ball game. You know, they're manning up right there with a safety help over the top, and right, ULM runs the RPO, and he runs the slant, and the pass was actually a little behind him. Got a little handsy. So a pass interference, and really every... Every play is going the way of ULM so far. They, just a RPO situation there. And Funderburg, who had a big week last week. What a week he had. He had a pick six in the fourth quarter for the first touchdown, their only touchdown. That put him up 19 to 7 in that fourth quarter with 11 minutes to go. App State coming out this split safety look. They're bailing out pre snap. So that's telling the quarterback middle of the field is probably going to be open. First and 10, just in the ULM territory. Pass goes to Wiley, and Wiley has another ULM first down as he has been the target so far for Jaya Wright. You can tell in this bye week, those two guys have really uh, created a connection. Put it in time, and App State's cornerbacks are playing so soft, and they're bailing at the safety position. So they're just, ULM's just taking what they give them with the bubble screen. Wiley had three catches, 52 yards at Texas A&M in the loss two weeks ago already. He has three catches reverse. today. Here's a reverse. Coming around the near side is right. He'll keep it and then go out of bounds at the 30-yard line. ULM coming with the trickery early. They bring their receiver. Looks like they brought all red Luke in motion to be the reverse man. Jaya just fakes it to him and takes it as a sweep as a QB. So another first and 10 here for ULM marching inside the 30-yard line. 8.20 to play in this first quarter. They'll check over towards that sideline. But this offense for ULM has been dominant so far. Over 100 yards of offense so far, mostly through the air. Pass near side is caught. Once again, this is Howell. And he dances out of bounds about the 23. Now, that doesn't seem like much, right? But that shows Jaya has control of the offense. That was his second or third read. He started off play side, checked it. It wasn't there. Goes down. That's his third read there, Chris. And doesn't get greedy. Take, takes his check down, man, and keeps positive yards on first down. Right, six of eight, 89 yards so far. He's got a little opportunity to run. Can he get to that first down stick? But you know he's drugged down just shy of that uh, boundary and the 19 that he needs for a first down. Decisiveness is what I'm seeing out of Jaya so far. He doesn't like what he sees. He immediately jumps out of the window. It's there. Tried to stiff arm over on the edge. That anchor over there, Caden Sullivan, drug him down by yep. his and shoe. If he doesn't, that's a first down. So big time open field tackle. A lot of speed. One thing that when we talk to uh, Coach Clark and uh, their coordinators, you know, they like to play fast, whether it be on offense or defense. And they really like the speed of this defense. Big third down here for App State. Smith in the backfield there. He'll uh, not take the handout. Pass is caught. And that's Nye Nye Davis for the ULM first down. Yeah, App State got caught trying to disguise their coverage. They're taking that backside safety, tried to move him to the middle of the field, but I had a coach say execution trumps disguise. The safety did not get to the middle of the field in time, so that, that slant's open there. Transfer from Utah State. Picks up that big first down for ULM now in the red zone. Free now play. everybody jumps, another free play, and they're going to stop this one. Yeah, and that was kind of iffy because if, they, if there's a defender unabated to the quarterback, they're going to stop it. Stacy Wilkins, I noticed, got knocked down as it is an offsides on Appalachian State. Wilkins, the left tackle, transfer from Oklahoma. Cousin Sean Andrews in the NFL with the New York Giants. Graduate, Jaya Wright. With his offense, a chance to go up by two scores here in the first quarter. Staying on schedule here, Chris. They're getting positive yards on first down, which is opening up the entire playbook. I'm sure everybody expected 106 passing yards in the first <laughs> quarter for ULM. First and goal, or rather first and seven here. They can get a first down, I believe. Handoff goes up the middle and wide open into the end zone. Isaiah Woolard. 
Touchdown, ULM, and it's a two-score game. He's going to take that ball and hand it to one of his offensive linemen and say, thank you. Did you see that's what he's doing? Because that was just a pure road grade in there on the zone read. He wasn't touched. You probably could have got at least four yards. <laughs> Bullard, the transfer from Ole Miss, all-time leading rusher in Mississippi high school history. Split zone. And look at that offensive line play. I think this game will be one of the trenches. And right now, what a start for ULM up front. McCormick's PAT is good. And 6-10 left in the first quarter. ULM coming off the bye week. They lead Appalachian State 14-0. When you can save on Target's Good & Gather groceries and all the fall flavors. When quality ingredients bring more to the table. And when you're serving up taste they love at low prices. That's totally Target. I got you. Like I get in the night. It in from seven yards out. Chris, they have come out fighting today. Well, you know, I'm not a. I don't know what Warhawks necessarily what they eat for breakfast, but they've eaten something yeah. uh, very, very good for them today. As he lead 14 nothing over Appalachian State, a returnable kick here. As taking it is Milan Tucker, and Tucker will spin away from one tackler and get out close to that 30 yard line. That'll be where App State starts with their third possession. They've turned it over one time, and Desmond, total yards, ULM 130, App State 56. But that one big fumble, that's uh, one of the bigger plays of the game. But how about Jaya Wright, the play of Jaya Wright so far for ULM? Can't, can't overstate how much control he has over the offense, how calm he's been in the pocket, working his way through his progressions. And on the, on the other side, App State just hasn't been able to get a rhythm. Joey Aguilar out of that pistol formation is the handoff will go off that left side. And a helmet coming off as the first carry for Kanye Roberts. Oh, Kanye. And... Uh, you see a when you see flags and a helmet pops off, it's never a good sign. Probably a face mask yeah. I'm expecting here. Perhaps they come out with their alternate helmets with the mustard yellow on. <laughs> Gold. Oh, yeah. It is uh, a face mask. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. What this running room for App State with Noel. You got Roberts. You got Markel, Markwell Haywood as well. And here's a look. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That's Carl Glass there. Got a little overzealous. One of the defensive uh, mainstays there in the middle at Mike Linebacker, former walk-on, turn baller. Yeah, so I'm sure Coach Sean Clark for App State is telling him, look, let's calm down, guys. Let's get back to what we do and come out with the outside zone and do a great job on first down. So a fresh set of downs here for App State. Aguilar looking down the sideline. He's got a man, and he's got a touchdown. And just like that, one score game. Christian Horn is go-to guy, and it is now a 14-6 ball game. App State with the answer. And, and that will inject some energy in your team after they've been punching them out. How is App State going to respond after losing two close games, two back-to-back -back weeks? And that's how they respond, Mike. Excuse me, Chris. <laughs> nice pass and catch, and boy, he created separation. Man. Got past Carlin Vigors. And uh, the extra point. How about Aguilar just dropping it in there? No problem. Sometimes those wide open ones are the hardest ones to hit. Cornerback got caught looking in the backfield. Michael Hughes Horn, by the way, his second touchdown of the season. Snap a little bit high there, but the extra point is good. And Coach Frank Potts, when we talked to him this week, he said, Mr. Horn's a go-to guy. And he was right there for Aguilar. 540, buckle those seatbelts. Get ready for hosting at the Home Depot with free delivery on over 2 million items every day so you can refresh your space before Santa or the family comes to town. Get holiday ready with savings at the Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah.
you, Jamie. Oh, what am I up to? Just visiting a special secret client. I can't say who it is, but let's just say she bundled her dream house and her dream car for around-the-clock protection with Progressive. Oh. She has another house in Malibu. She's been an astronaut, an architect, a CEO. We're in front of her house, Jamie. Well, I'd love to tell you who her boyfriend is, but I don't think I can. I'd love to tell you, but I don't think I can. Marty, look for it on digital and Blu-ray. Are you ready for Papa John's new fan-inspired pizza? We started with our garlic epic stuffed crust with everyone's favorite garlic flavor. Hit it, on it, with it, hit it, on it. And then you all asked for more heat. So we added red pepper flakes and our spicy garlic sauce for even more fire. Papa John's new Garlic Epic Stuffed Crust Pizza, now available in spicy garlic. Get a one-topping pizza now for $13.99 at Papa John's. Faith's Flowers wasn't living up to its name, but now she's using Amazon Business. With bulk orders that work around her schedule. Plus easy ways to track spend. Which means Faith has the time to make it, well, fantastic. Amazon Business, your partner for smart business buying. When you can save on Target's Good & Gather groceries and all the fall flavors. When quality ingredients bring more to the table. And when you're serving up taste they love at low prices, that's totally Target. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. Well, it's been tough for App State on the road. Double overtime loss at North Carolina. Tough one, heartbreaker at Wyoming. But Mr. Horn from Mr. Aguilar. And it's back a one possession game. Really, really what? was not expecting a shootout no. tonight, Desmond, but no. here we are, 21 points in the first 10 minutes. The fun belt, baby. 52 yards. That'll get your mind right. Hughes will kick it away here for App State as ULM and Jaya Wright back on offense as that kick will go through the end zone for a touchback. And ULM will have it at their. 25-yard line. Shout out to Hughes. Four field goals in the first half last week, including a 50-yarder at Wyoming. I know App State fans would have loved to have had touchdowns instead of field goals, but still, Hughes did his job. Here's Jaya Wright so far today. Desmond, he is really pitching and catching. Seven of nine, 106 yards, and a touchdown so far for Jaya Wright. What did What's been the key to his success so far? A positive first down plays, keeping him in, in, in good, good protection up front for the most part, and then him just makes some great throws and great catches. His wide receivers are helping him. Shotgun formation for Jaya. Pass oh. goes far side, it's picked off! It's picked off at a touchdown. Another one for Tyreek Funderburk. He had a pick six last week in Laramie to pick six today. Make it two, baby, and, and that's film study. ULM goes to the well a little, one time, two minute. They ran that same play last drive to open the drive, and Tyreek was ready this time. Pulled his trigger, jumped that ball, ran it route for the receiver, and he hit his head on the goalpost. So it's 14-0 then. I stepped it. A little uh, prance, I guess, if you will, <laughs> into the end zone for Mr. Funderburk. He thought about hitting that prime time. He kind of half-heartedly didn't want to get the penalty. I've been there. It's like you want to celebrate, but you don't want to cross the line. How many defensive touchdowns did you have? Two in one season, actually. And we are tied. How about that? In about a minute span, this App State team has tied this ball game up. And, and we've got an injured player for App State. Never like to see Immediately that. saw them calling for the training staff to come out there. And on an extra point, too. I, I did not get the number, so. 74. Yeah, you never like to see that. And it's holding it, came down favoring his knee. And those, those offensive linemen are in like, you're in compromise 
position, which is why they protect the, the deep snapper, because you're just in an awkward position. Griffin Scroggs on the extra point. Boy, yep. you just hate to see that. Yep, you hate to see it. And immediately, they were calling Scroggs, the Georgia transfer, redshirt freshman, 6'3", 325 pounds. Look at Coach Clark right there. and to get a assistant out the field, but a big guy, 6'3", ah. 325. They need one more person to help him on the field. Those are two small people. That's a big human. Maybe it's, hopefully it's not too serious. But yeah, man, that's way to respond though, by, by Appalachian State. Defense and offense. And now they've got, they've got momentum, Chris. It was 23 yards officially on the interception return. And Turnover is now even at one apiece. That's their fifth, by the way, interception in their last three ball games. As this App State defense has been a very uh, ball hawking defense for sure. Uh, 28 points here. We still have not played 10 minutes. So for you under people out there, <laughs> my thoughts <laughs> are luck. with you. <laughs> Good luck. But yeah, and back to that screenplay, I mentioned it earlier. That's why spacing is so important. You're trying to create the right spacing so those cornerbacks can't jump the route. This time, the kickoff return going to be brought out. And all red loop. Oh, got some extracurricular. Got away with it. <laughs> He's going to keep going. Somebody will get a penalty eventually. Good job by the referees of seeing it was going back and forth and letting it go. Generally, they get the second guy. <laughs> Speaking from experience, I Abs know as well. Absolutely. You got to be smart. Sometimes <laughs> you wait for the, you know, the umpire to turn around. Bud Tolbert out there getting in on that a little bit. Same yeah, thing. Get those juices flowing. It's still in the upper 80s here. You know, a little, little warm down there. Yeah. If they ain't got them juices going by now. You have to put some clock, uh, time back up on the clock. Thank it you. continued to run. So 531 to play in this first quarter. Third interception thrown by Jaya Wright this year. That's a pick six by Funderburk. And now. A test here for Jaya Wright to put that behind him as this time he'll hand it off straight out the middle for a couple of yards. We've seen Woolard and Smith both in this ballgame. That was Smith. And he and Woolard, they've become a really nice combination. You got Thad Franklin, the Miami transfer as well. And as you see the numbers for Jaya Wright, I mean, Mr. Efficiency, 7 for 10, just that one mistake so far. Yep, getting some signals from the sideline. Look like ULM's trying to establish the run here on first down. They passed last couple of times. Wild Road, it's been for Wright, but here he is. He's the man now in game yeah. number four. Handoff goes to Hunter Smith as he finds some running room over that right side of that Appalachian State defense. Yeah, you can, you can definitely tell coaches, let's settle this down. Coach Cupid, that is, they've run split zone twice this drive, putting the game back into the hands of their trusted running backs. And you see that not, not in any hurry mm -hmm. at all nope. is this ULM offense. They don't really want to get into a shootout with App State today. That's not going to be the recipe for a victory for ULM. So they're slowing things down here. Third down and five for Jaya Wright in this ULM offense. Still has a time. Pass mm. over the middle is short, incomplete. As he was looking over the middle for Bugs Mortimer. First time he has targeted Mortimer in this ball game. And now fourth down at punt formation for Braxton Gilbo. Yeah, clear difference in approach there by App State on third down. They had been bringing pressure, bringing four down linemen. This time they jump into their nickel coverage, three three down defense alignment, and they drop back in the coverage and make Jaya pick us apart, try to keep him in the pocket. And still, he was going to run there for a second. Gilbo averaging 39 yards per punt. You see Caden Robinson, the UCF transfer. Looks like App State going to try to come after this one. And he gets it away. It's a low line drive kick that takes a nice ULM bounce mm -hmm. out of bounds near that 30 yard line. So that's where the Mountaineers will have it first and 10 and a chance to take their first lead of the ball game. The game kind of settling into the game now. Both teams have taken a couple punches and now you've seen App State's defense adjust. You saw ULM's offense adjust in the way they were calling that first drive. Very curious to see how App State comes out with their, their game plan. Interesting talking with Coach Terry Bowden on Thursday. Desmond, we get a chance to talk to him, ask him. Always oh, this phenomenal talking football with, with Coach Absolutely. Bowden. 
And he mentioned, you know, back in 2007 when App State had the monumental sport changing win against Michigan. He was on the halftime show for ABC as there's a good pass and catch and a first down immediately for the Mountaineers yeah. as that pass and catch goes to Milan Tucker. Yeah, he said uh, during the halftime, he's thinking, who from Michigan scheduled App State and why do they have a job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this, uh, this trip's is giving ULM fits at the top of the screen. And they're generally going to the to the slot. Sean Clark, the head coach for App State. And uh, we were talking even before about his road, former offensive lineman. And now the head coach in Boone. Flushed out of the pocket is Aguilar. Still can throw. He'll take it. And he's knocked down. Hit pretty hard. Good penetration that time. Mm -hmm. by that ULM front, those linebackers. Yeah, good coverage down the field. Just lost contain there. Great job by Aguilar just picking up what he can get. Yeah, I had a great conversation with Coach Clark there, former O-line coach. You can kind of feel that salt of the earth guy. But yeah, I actually got a chance to play against App State the year after that huge you Michigan ups upset. We got to upset them. You upset for McNeese at App State. In Boone, handoff goes, and a, again, that's Batman again, <laughs> Michael Batten. <laughs> Michael Batten. The uh, transfer from Nassau Community College, former quarterback, who's now a linebacker. That's back-to-back, -back. big plays for him, getting into that backfield. Another walk-on, him and Carl Glass going to be playing, splitting time at that Mike position. Red zone, they're a, they're a zone team, saw clear, shot, pulled his trigger, and, and made a great tackle in the backfield. See uh, today, App State 0 for 1 on third downs. That deep out route is incomplete. Coming down that near sideline, looking for Stroman. And he gives him a good opportunity, at least a decent opportunity to make a catch, but a little bit too far. Yeah, they tried to isolate him one on one at the bottom. They were running two shallow crosses, tried to mesh it up. But he was going to take that big ball shot all, all the way. Got, a little, got away with a little holding there, Vigors mm -hmm. did. But if he, that. if he does, if he if he takes the check down, though, he had his tight end coming open on the shallow cross. So punt formation once again for App State, and the kick is away. By the freshman Lakin, it's a fair catch taken by Bugs Mortimer inside the 20-yard line. So opportunity here for ULM and their defense. Stands and we still have 2.06 to play. This is just the first quarter. It's great. It's, you, you've seen the adjustments. Now, two punts back to back. Couldn't stop a, a runny nose before that, either team. <laughs> and now they've seen some tendencies and they're starting to call, call the game differently from a defensive perspective. Now, how does Coach Cubic counter App State's count? So here comes the offense and Jaya Ryan, a great story. Didn't start against Lamar, came in when Hunter Herring got hurt. He actually played in the game in 2021, and Boone came in late in the ball game. Last time these two teams played, a win for Appalachian State. They've won six of seven in the series as Wright will take it out to the 20-yard line, a scramble for two. Good coverage downfield for the Mountaineers. Yeah, good coverage, good job tr um, transitioning from coverage to rushing the passer there. As they could tell, Jaya had jumped out of the window. Jaya Wright, a graduate, as he fakes that handoff to Ward. And I don't know that Jaya Wright running the football is going to be the recipe for success, but <laughs> yeah. it brings up third down and long now. Mentioning a graduate pursuing his master's right now at business administration. And he's, it's his own read, and they're, they're giving him the, uh, the, the pull read, making him try to make it happen on so his legs. Third and seven, look out for. Hal at the bottom of your screen, or potentially Darian Wiley, who's been one of the top targets in this ball game. He has the touchdown. Check out those splits again up top in that trips. They're very wide. He's under pressure, packed to his five yard line, and he just heaves it towards that App State sideline. What pressure up front. Is outside. Yeah. That pressure, man, and this time they switch it up. The last third down, they, they dropped with a nickel in coverage with three down linemen. This time they brought the four linemen and they manned up on the edges. Scott Sloan, the DC for App State. He wanted to bring a lot of pressure today. Talk about using that speed and even his front guys. He 
really loves the speed that they have. We've already touched on Collins, talked about Nate Johnson. As Caden Robinson back deep to receive this punt by Braxton Gilbo. Just, just keeping them guessing. But a three and out again now for ULM. He'll roll out nearly a hand on that punt as Robinson will call for the fair catch at the 37-yard line, and that's where App State will start offensively. And what's been, I don't know if you call it a roller coaster first quarter, but it has been a wild first 14 minutes and eight seconds. I'll call it a roller coaster because now <laughs> we went up and now we're kind of coming down. We're settling in the trough right here. Who's gonna gonna get their mojo going next after both teams have kind of adjusted? Like, you, you know, in a roller coaster, you have that little slow mm -hmm, build up. Yeah. Well, this time we just started with nah, the curve. We started at the top. We were like that, that dungeon drop ride at Six Flags. They just drop you. Man. But uh, what a fun first quarter this has been. Pistol formation. And the handoff goes off to that left side. This great running back room for App State. We've seen three guys already. That was Marshall. Amani Marshall on that carry. Yeah, they come out and just collapse that left side of the line there. Just check out that guard and tackle and tight end working together. Good job by, the, by Marshall of seeing the outside was open, bouncing it. But yeah, he was guaranteed at least three yards there just based on the offensive line play. I haven't seen Noel in a while. I don't know if we can uh, see if we can find number five on the sideline for App State. As once again, that is Marshall in the backfield. Probably the last play of this first quarter. He'll take the handoff off that right side. Find some running room. He's got another first down. Finally brought down by Simeon Hines. And just like that, that'll end the first quarter as App State will be in Warhawk territory to start the second quarter. And you talked about the defensive linemen being athletic. Their offensive line athletic, too. They run stretch here and just stretch out that defense. Those gaps move. you got to keep gap soundness, and, and ULM defense didn't. This is that team's red and butter. Second quarter coming up. The holidays are coming to the Home Depot with free delivery on over 2 million items. So let the prepping begin by dreaming a little bigger and lighting up your home with a lot more joy this season. Get holiday ready at the Home Depot. Around here, we like to keep things simple and honest. Sure do. That's why at Progressive, we show your rates from other companies, even if they're lower than ours, so you can choose what's best for your family. Comparing rates used to be a hard day's work, but not with AutoQuote Explorer. Need me to help again? No. So join us and taste why Progressive is the name people trust. Sorry, are we talking about apples now or insurance? <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny? How powerful is fiber internet from Cox? Hey, old friend. Hey, buddy. So powerful that you can not only reminisce about the good old days. Let's push these babies like back in the day. I'm right behind you. But relive them too. Introducing Cox Fiber from the company with the fastest download speeds eight years in a row. It's internet built for tomorrow, today. Limited availability in select areas. Are you ready for Papa John's new fan-inspired pizza? We started with our garlic epic stuffed crust with everyone's favorite garlic flavor. Hit it, on it, with it, hit it, on it. And then you all asked for more heat. So we added red pepper flakes and our spicy garlic sauce for even more fire. Papa John's new garlic epic stuffed crust pizza, now available in spicy garlic. Get a one topping pizza now for $13.99 at Papa John's. When you can save on Target's Good & Gather groceries and all the fall flavors. When quality ingredients bring more to the table. And when you're serving up taste they love at low prices. That's totally Target. It's your journey. Own every mile in the Hyundai Tucson with America's best warranty. Now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months or up to 1,500 total savings on the Tucson. See your local Hyundai dealer today. You've earned this, so hold it up high. You're not just a store clerk. You're a line cook, tour guide, 
lifesaver, sometimes therapist, but always there from open to close. A one person operation that's the heart of the neighborhood. You are a fighter, and this is your reward. Medela, the mark of a fighter. Well, back at Malone Stadium here in Monroe, Louisiana, ULM and App State playing their first Sun Belt Conference game as. Coaches say it's a, it's a new season starts today alongside Desmond Light and Chris Harris with you. Back to pass Aguilar as they have it first and 10. And Aguilar scooting around tackles. He took a shot, but he's inside the 35-yard line. And App State to chance to take their first lead of the ball game after falling behind 14 to nothing. Okay, Aguilar showing the poise in the pocket, stepping up. And then a little balance there. Somebody's been working their balance drill in the offseason. Takes a hit at the end there. And hope, you know, hopefully he hung on to that ball. Thankfully for Coach, Coach Clark there. You see that so often the safety comes in and puts their head on that ball and it pops right out. Jalen Ware. That is with Lighton, two-time All-American at McNeese. Yes, he does have a W over App State in his career. <laughs> Here comes the handoff off that left tackle. One time, I appreciate the extra All-American. One time, though. <laughs> handoff goes that time to Amani Marshall. Haven't seen Noel since the first drive of the ball game. And have not heard uh, any uh, status for Nate Noel, the nation's leading rusher as far as yards per game and attempts per game, as that pass is caught by David Larkins. Yep, just staying on schedule there for Aguilar. Six, Six five, big target. 6'5", 255, redshirt sophomore. That's a tackle. That's an offensive tackle playing tight end there. Got hands there. Redshirt sophomore. So it's third down and two here for Appalachian State. For sure they are in the uh, field goal range for Michael Hughes. We talked about the coach, their offensive coordinator, Frank Ponce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're not looking for field goals this week. So don't be surprised if they don't get this with them going for it. There's Ryan Berger left after that first yeah. game to Little injury. Limbs, Caught. They're gonna have to call a timeout there. Tried to substitute Michael Batten and, and Carl Glass. Timeout. It's like you go off. No, you go off. It is their first. It will be 30 seconds. So yeah, you gotta burn that timeout or take or give up the free first down there with too many men on the field. Two teams that are not really penalized that much. Terry Bowden teams have always been uh, really, really good when it comes to minimizing the mistakes or the penalties. Yeah, and that, that's kind of tough. That's, you know, trying to substitute. They're not going to hold up the snap unless Appalachian State substituted, which they didn't. So it's really hard to get a mic backer on the field. Well, I wanted to uh, touch on something that's on our hearts right now. Two weeks ago, the ULM ESPN Plus uh, production crew lost a member of its own. We'd like to take this time to remember Dakota Hill, Dakota Hill, and thank him for his years of service and his friendship. To his wife, Mary Helen, we are deeply saddened and will continue to keep you in our thoughts and prayers during this difficult time. But Dakota, we really, really miss you. And definitely from Desmond, myself, from Wayne, everybody, we are really, really thinking of you in this difficult time. And uh, uh, certainly on, uh, on everybody's minds uh, today. And uh, thoughts and prayers, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I know last week was a really difficult week. And, uh, you know, it's a great group, a great group of people that love what they do, and they do it for the love of what they do. So keep Dakota and his family in your prayers. App State on the move here. They do get the first down, first and 10 for App State as they're back in the red zone. This is uh, the area where they want to try to turn these into touchdowns. Pass is caught. This is Horn, who already has one touchdown, and he's knocked down inside the five-yard line. And that should be enough for another App State first down as they're knocking on the door for a potential third consecutive score. Yep, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. You get it if you get that type of chunk yardage on third. Great, phenomenal job of keeping your eyes downfield. Look at Aguilar stepping up, working his way through his possessions. Is not there, steps up in the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield, and hits his check down valve. And he actually had a tight end in the flats. He just you know, it would have been a tough pass. A rare huddle there for Appalachian State. First down and goal from the four-yard line. Motion man, he'll keep it. Aguilar, not sure if that was the correct decision as he is eaten up back at the seven-yard line. Now he had to just take what he could get. 
They tried to leak the tight end on the RPO type look into the flats, but ULM was all over it. So he was just kind of mitigating the loss there. Heinz Community College transfer Jalen Ware saw him get in there and finish off that wrap as he comes in. It was, of course, Batten first on a host of ULM defenders. Yeah, set up by taking that tight end away. See what uh, Aguilar in this offense wants to do here on second down and goal. Pass is incomplete. <laughs> he had Marshall and he had a touchdown, but that pass left a little bit too far. Now there is this might a penalty on the play. This might be offensive pass interference. Maybe they were trying to set up the, the pick route. They had double slants and then try to leave. No the foul. The ball was tipped behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. So they had two two slants trying to, you know, just run the coverage out of there and they leaked the running back out behind it. Because, you know, when you're running man, the linebackers got that, that, that running back, but they've got to go through all of that trash to get to him in space. See if uh, the ball was, yeah. yeah. Well, the ball kind of sailed yeah, a little bit. Earlier. You can tell the, the rotation of the football was a little bit off. So here's a third down and five. On third downs, this team right around 50%. Aguilar looks, pass over the middle, has a man, it is caught! Robinson in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Big what time. a great catch. Big time. Good look. They got, they got the coverage they wanted. They caught you a man coverage in the trip set. Quarterback sits there, puts it high and away to the slot receiver, and he jumps up and snags it. Third touchdown catch of the year for the UCF transfer, Caden Robinson. And just a phenomenal catch. Look at this catch at the back of the end zone, Desmond. And the touch pass. Yeah, that, yeah, there were ULM bodies there. I mean, that is an it, impressive throw from Aguilar. And they jammed him up off the line. It, it wasn't terrible defense there. Just a good throw, good catch. Aguilar came in completing 58% of his passes. And that'll put him over 1,000 yards for the season. Not sure what the holdup is here. And, and it's for just, the extra point. It's so hard in those, in those situations. There's not much space, so mm. even, if, even if they are running zone, which is like they check to, everybody's still so bunched up, so the windows are so small in the red zone. Well, for uh, App State fans, they have to be pretty pleased with the red zone offense. Of course, when you score from uh, a long ways out or it's a pick six, it's not red zone, yeah, but takes the pressure. They, get, they get six here. First test. On the third down, and they have scored now 21 unanswered points to take a 21-14 lead over ULM. The Sunbelt opener for both the Mountaineers and the Warhawks. Back in Monroe, right after this. The holidays are coming to the Home Depot with free delivery on over two million items. So let the prepping begin by dreaming a little bigger and lighting up your home with a lot more joy this season. Get holiday ready at the Home Depot. <laughs> What's wrong? I just missed out on a limited edition album because our speeds are slower than normal right now. Why? Because our network gives priority to cell phone users. Why? Because we, as a family, made a choice and switched to T-Mobile Home Internet. Why? Why? Don't we fix that? Why get T-Mobile when Cox has two times faster download speeds during peak hours? When you can save on Target's Good & Gather groceries and all the fall flavors. When quality ingredients bring more to the table. And when you're serving up tastes they love at low prices. That's totally Target. And Doug. And Doug says you can customize and save hundreds on car insurance with Liberty Mutual. He hits his mark center stage and is crushed by a baby grand piano. Are you replacing me? With this guy? Customize and save with Liberty Biberty. He doesn't even have a mustache. Oh, look, a Bibu. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Things were not going to go on well. Big promotion. Made me brand ambassador. We got to come up with a drink name, but it's not easy, right? Nowadays, with social media, the kids, it's got to be authentic. How are people going to connect you with Duncan? Yeah, I'm a Duncan guru. I'm not seeing it. Ice Spice. My fans are the Munchkins. Where are you going with this? Ice Spice Munchkins drink. I got an idea. Collabs like they do, right? I spit buys with you. We're called Vanilla Ice Spice. Here I am. I'm with Duncan. 
You go. Appalachian State, they've scored 21 unanswered. Aguilar to Robinson in the back of the end zone. And it's now a 21-14 contest. Desmond Lighton, Chris Harris with you. As the fans enjoying a tell you what, nice night, September 30th. It's been hot. It was hot today. Temperature in the mid-90s with the heat index. Yeah, App State came out for warm-ups in, in the long sleeves, <laughs> man. Somebody said, hey, man, it's hot. Y'all might want to take them off. I'll tell you what, you go from, I think uh, Boone is right around 3,700 elevation. Laramie last week was, what, 7,800, over 7,000 feet of elevation. We're at 72 feet of elevation on the bayou here yep. in Monroe. And it's 60 degrees right now back in Boone. It's 60 now. Okay. Well, it's almost sweatshirt weather, even in uh, Monroe. Scoring drive, 10 plays, 63 yards, 241 off the clock, as Hughes with another touchback. A yep, couple third down conversions. Keeping, they stayed ahead of the chains that entire drive. They did not get put in a third long situation. Good job. Ag Aguilar was just operating, taking what he can get, flushed a couple of times, and then making that, that crucial touchdown score and throw in the red zone, which they weren't, haven't been able to do the last couple of weeks. After slow start, 194 yards of offense, 138 for ULM. And here's Jaya Wright in this ULM offense back on the field after they punched to App State in the mouth to start the ball game. Crossing route over the middle pass intended for Nainai Davis. And close coverage, maybe wanting a pass interference on Jordan Favors there as Nainai Davis and Jordan Favors talking about their post-game plans. A little, little, little handsy there, but that play is going to be there. ULM loves the split zone. It's an RPO, and if you can get one-on-one -on, -one on the slant, you take your chances. Jaya Wright has been confident so far. He has the one pick. Right, right. Back to pass. Fade towards that right side. It's nearly intercepted again by Funderburg. He probably could have had that. There is a penalty marker, though, as he was looking for Ty Howell. He's going to get him for offsides again, Chris. So he's just throwing it up, taking his chance. Maybe you get a pass interference. Offside. Defense, number 12. Five-yard penalty, second down. And this, that's the third time now that that's happened this game. Driving a D-line coach, crazy. You, you're the closest man to the ball. Just watch the ball. What happens is, Chris, they're trying to time the snap. The quarterback gets into a cadence, and they do the same cadence over and over again. So you start timing it, and then before you know it, switches it up on you, catch a slip. And that's something I would assume that, you know, ULM will, and Jaya Wright's worked on trying to uh, alternate that count. Mm -hmm. Right? Looking left now comes to this right side and he has his man at the 37 yard line yep. as that's Davis. Little snag right there. Sit him down holding that zone. Davis one of the nicely ranked yep. prospects coming out of high school, three star. Another freebie. This, this time it's caught by Howell. He gets one foot inbounds right around that 44 yard line. And that's the fourth time now that they've had a free play. Maybe they self-scouted and realized they were using the same snap count over, so they switched it up this week. But right now, App State's getting a little greedy trying to time that snap. Well, they stood still, <laughs> but they didn't, they didn't get the call that time, though, Desmond. There was not a call for offsides that time. Hurry up, quick offense here now. And the handoff goes up the middle. This is Thad Franklin Jr., the Miami transfer. He's a big back. We've seen him in a lot of... Uh, to goal uh, situations this year. ULM running tempo right now. Once again, handoff goes to Franklin. He has some running room. He's not a speed guy, but he has the ULM Warhawks in the red zone. 72 offense has to go out for a tempo. Helmet came off, and that's a big loss there for ULM. And how about the big uglies there for ULM getting a great push, pulling the backside guard and tackle, get a kick and a lead block. Yeah, 72, that's Stacy Wilkins. Look at this hole that opens up, and Franklin with his longest rush of the year. Franklin coming in, six carries, 11 yards, and a touchdown. As that time, he picks up 23, so doubled his total with just that carry. And Franklin will stay in, flanked to his right as Jaya hands off to him, trying to go around that left side, but he's not going to find the edge that time as he's tracked down from behind. That was Caden Sullivan, 
who brings him down. Yeah, that play's actually designed to go inside there, Chris. He kind of hesitated. It wasn't there. Tried to catch him slipping on the edge and bounce it. Franklin, by the way, he's listed at six foot, 235 pounds from West Park, Florida. West Philadelphia, you say? Born and raised? West Park, Florida. <laughs> So now the uh, shotgun formation will be right here on second down and 11. I would try a fade route to the corner of the end zone here. Yeah. Let's see. There it goes. There it is. There's the fade route, corner of the end zone, and it is Got caught it. by Ty Hell plus pass interference. Okay, that with your best Tony Romo impersonation, calling it pre-snap there, Chris. And that's what you want. Pass interference, defense number yeah. two. That penalty is declined, the result of the play. Touchdown. Coach Cupid said he wanted to give his playmaker, Tahoe, more opportunities to touch the ball. So when you get one-on-one -on -one coverage in the red zone, throw it up and let your guy go make a play on it. Ty Howell is second. Oh, check him out. He's too small. <laughs> uh, you know, I've seen that this year in football a lot. Of course, you saw it in basketball when uh, you see guys dunk over other players. The extra point is up and good. ULM. After 21 unanswered from App State, Jaya Wright to the all-conference performer, Ty Howell. And we're back even at 21. You call it? This October 10th and 11th, Prime Big Deal Days give Prime members exclusive access to two days of big savings, which means you're kind of a big deal. Prime Big Deal Days, October 10th and 11th, only for Prime members. Hey, I'm Elizabeth, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich is the collab of flavors, the sweet honey, the pickled jalapeno peppers, and the creamy pimento cheese. It is a perfect bite. Hey, y'all, this is Ronte, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich is the richness of the pimento cheese. When I took a first bite, I was like, go, go, go cheese, go pimento, go honey, go chicken, go, go, go get it. around every corner. What are you scared of? The dark. This Halloween, turn off your lights. Something's happening to me. Lock all your doors. I can't stop watching. And definitely bundle up with Disney Plus and Hulu. I'm gonna need you to spread the word. Sound the alarm! You'll have so much fun, <laughs> it's scary. That's gonna be a game changer. The Disney Bundle with Disney Plus and Hulu. We don't know any first responders who only give 90%. Or farmers, the workers who build our towns, roads, infrastructure. They don't stop at halfway. And good luck finding a small business owner who's happy with an 80% effort. That's why they use Ford trucks. Ford F-Series, 100% assembled in America. Because we're all in on America. Football here on ESPN Plus. Throw from Jaya Wright to one of the best of the business, Tyrone Howell. Fade him up and then tell him, man, he's too small. That's, that's just me. You can get in the weight room and get your weight up, but you can't do anything about your height. I, I take offense because I'm a short guy <laughs> here. My, my, my co host here, Chris Harris, is like 6'8. <laughs> I'm 6 foot. Oh, man. Yeah. That was. Yeah, height was certainly not an issue for me. But, well, ball comes off the tee. See the uh, play there, seven plays, 75 yards, 244 off the clock, and, and really a, a much-needed response for ULM because, you know, App State had scored 21 consecutive points and yeah. could see them starting to pull away. They had the momentum there, and ULM had the response. Good there. ball control and drive. Time the ball stays on the team. McCormick's kick is once again through the end zone for a touchback. And the Mountaineers will have it first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Okay, 8.15 to play in the second quarter. After the uh, wild and woolly first quarter, these 
two teams have settled in, but I think you really get a good feel of these two teams. And for ULM, I know this is a program that has undergone a major overhaul, but this is a very solid ULM football team, and this is going to be a fun toe-to-toe -to -toe matchup with a great program in App State. Handoff off this left side as Noel, first time back in the ball game since that opening drive. We we're trying to get word on maybe what was up with him, but he's back in there. Your nation's leading rusher, averaging 26 attempts per game. Man, that outside zone that they run, it's so beautifully operated. And it's so dangerous. If one person, one defensive lineman, one linebacker gets out of their gap, he can, they're going to gash you. Noel on a Miami Northwestern. 5'10", 190 pounds. This has been a video game stat guy so far this year, but there's a handoff and not much there as he is pulled down quickly by Carl Glass Jr. The way he read that play, you can tell he had seen it a thousand times this week. That, that stretch zone, they created an extra gap there with that H-back and he shot backside, it's all clear, and he went got him in the backfield. Great play there for Carl Glass. Junior. Make sure you get that in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know his father. Third Great man. Third down and eight. Aguilar out of the shotgun formation. Noel right there beside him in the backfield. He'll pass over the middle, and it's caught right on that M of the ULM logo at midfield. That's Dalton Stroman with the catch. And another right on target throw from Joey Aguilar. Yeah, once again, these, these trips concepts are kind of giving ULM zone fits. He, Good protection up front, good pass pro. He sits there, throws it on the square end. Great, great. You got a, you got a linebacker dropping in the zone on a wide receiver is a tough, tough ask. App State receivers, six guys have catches. That was the second for Strowman. Robinson has three, Horn and Strowman both with two. As they'll hand off for Noel. Man, if he finds a hole, man, he will bust right through it and into ULM territory goes Noel. Starting to see this Appalachian State offense get their balance going. They're starting to get into a rhythm. They, they lulling you to sleep with the stretch zones, and then they're jumping in trips and hitting it deep. Noel, now five carries in the ball game. That's it. Play action here. Aguilar going deep down the sideline, and the pass is overthrown to his intended receiver. Yeah, try to take a shot there at the play action, hit the big ball with Vigors. And Biggers got a little handsy at the top of the route. They could have got him for illegal contact. The referees are letting him play here tonight. But the, that was a – that was a he would have literally had to drop that down the chimney, as they say. Very small <laughs> target to hit there. Good coverage by Biggers. With the biscuit in the basket. Yeah. So third down and short. Second down and two. You can take a chance right there with that deep attempt. So a third down and short here. I would think this would be an opportunity to give Noel – the football here comes some pressure here comes Noel here comes a lot of running room and a first down inside the 40 yard line for the Mountaineers somebody was not where they were supposed to be there was just too much space there at the top of the screen they had they ran that bunch set and it just they just collapsed that side of the field great run there Noel 542 yards coming in last year missed three games due to injuries as Coach was telling us, Coach Clark, he said he, he really bulked up in the offseason, put on some weight, and boy, he's become explosive and a lot tougher, too. Yeah, and you see players a lot of times, I tell people fat don't fly, so he, he gained <laughs> muscle, not fat. Well, you would know. There's a handoff, goes back to Noel, and not much there over that right side of that line. Good penetration. Michael Batten, Batman, with the tackle that time. And, and they know you know you're going to run it, and they're going to tell you to stop it. We're going to run stretch zone. Can you can you stretch the field and, and fill gaps? And such a great story. We talked about it being a quarterback a transfer. There's some pressure, and the pass from Aguilar down the sideline, incomplete, looking for his tight end, at Wilson. He's like pressure he's immediately in the backfield. Yeah, they brought the safety blitz off the edge. Got tired of Coach Coning, got tired of sitting, watching him sit back in the pocket and pick him apart. <laughs> yeah, and I would say ULM had a better shot at that ball than App State. Mr. Verandal, transfer from Jones Community College, who kind of over-pursued that time, and it's third down and 10 here. You're kind of in that 
middling field goal range. This would be about 55 from here. Aguilar will pass over the middle. Has his man. No field goal needed here as Milan Tucker takes it towards the sideline. And inside the 30, that'll be a gain of 11. And you can move the chains. Yeah, you get the same up top. Runs the coverage out, and then he checks it down the shallow cross, coming across from the backside of, to the protection. He comes all the way across the formation. It's a tough ass to do to run with him across the field. So a fresh set of downs here for App State. First downs, both teams with 11 first downs. Or that was the 12th for the Mountaineers of the ball game. Final four minutes of this first half. It's been an entertaining first half here from Monroe. And off goes once again to Noel as he spins down inside that 25-yard line. And App State is perfectly happy with that. They run the zone first down, put you in a second and, and manageable. Now you got your whole playbook, and they like to, we've seen they like to take shots from here. Second down and six. This would be a, a chance potentially for him. Pass goes to the right side. And it is caught at the 20-yard line. May have a face mask here as Aguilar completes it over there to his running back. That's what it looked like. People ask, me, why, what, how does the face mask happen? You know you can't do it. You'd be surprised when you—he yep. got shook. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So, Number seven. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic. First down. So got, very deliberate call there from the referee. But yeah, when you get, you get caught out of position, you get shook. You're just going to reach out and grab for anything you can get your hands on, and that's what happened there. They sent Vigors. I think they, they actually changed it over to Bicol. Vigors, like, don't blame me. Half the distance of the goal. That was Mekhi Jackson, by the way, on that reception. That was his first kick to the ball game. So first down and goal. It is goal to go from that 10-yard line. Handoff over the right side and handoff for a touchdown. As that's Kanye Roberts for his second touchdown of the season. And the Mountaineers are back in front. And excellent response there from the Mountaineers. Stretch zone again. They're going to just take a lateral step and, and zone block. And somebody got out of their gap. And all it takes is one, one person. Everybody, you got 10 people in their gap and one person's not. And that running back found it. Great job there. So the touchdown, the second on the season for the 5'11", 200-pound redshirt freshman out of Teachy, North Carolina. And on again is Hughes to add the point after. And oh, the, blocked. Nope. Oh, that got through. It, it got close, but it did uh, get through there. So another score for Appalachian State, this time on the ground. The boys from Boone up by seven here in Monroe. Hey, I'm Elizabeth, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich is the collab of flavors. The sweet honey, the pickled jalapeno peppers, and the creamy pimento cheese. It is a perfect bite. Hey y'all, this is Ronte. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich is the richness of the pimento cheese. When I took a first bite, I was like, go, go, go cheese, go pimento, go honey, go chicken, go, go, go get it. Yeah, with Metro, there's no contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. There's not a yada yada. Wait, Metro has not the contract yada yada? Yada yada yada. Boy, this surprise yada yada. Yada, yada. Price hike yada yada. Yada yada, yada 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 yada. Contract yada yada. And this yada yada. I don't know, kid. That one makes sense. Oh. Nada yada yada means wireless without the gotcha. No contacts, no price hikes, no surprises. Only at Metro. A truck is a tool, but a Ram is life. It's the let's load up the ATV's life. The my kids play way too many sports life. The let's find a secret spot to fish life. Nice. Discover how Ram powers all the lives you live during Ram Power Days. During Ram Power Days, get 1,500 bonus cash allowance on 2023 Ram 2500 and 3500 heavy-duty pickups. See your Ram dealer today. On a heartbreaking Fansville by Dr. Pepper. So this is goodbye? Tech's moving to a new conference. So we're not rivals anymore? What about our history? This realignment is bigger than us both, but here. I got you something to remember me by. 
Dr. Pepper, zero sugar? Zero. Like the odds of you making the playoff. Gotta go. I'll always hate you and your overrated school. I'll hate yours too. We're still gonna out-recruit you. We have higher academic standards. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Better buckle up. Uh, we got some fun belt action on this Saturday primetime here from Monroe. 28-21, App State on top. You know, there's nothing better than having some Kanye. Yeah, Sometimes, yeah, Desmond. Kanye to it. K West, they, they've been whoever's DJing right now, and then you got Kanye on the field and Kanye playing through the speakers. <laughs> Kanye with the touchdown. That would be, of course, not the that Kanye, but yeah. Kanye Roberts with the touchdown, his second on the year. What a fun one we've got going! Two good teams battling it out here in Monroe in the Sun Belt opener for both teams. As the kick is away, and we've seen. Uh, some return opportunities. Here's a return opportunity for ULM. Uh -oh. And Allred Luke making a couple of Mountaineers miss, but he'll settle down there at the 26-yard line, and that'll be where the Warhawks start first and 10 with 3.06 to play in this first half alongside Desmond Light and Chris Harris with you from Monroe. Now, Desmond, we'll take a break. When we come back, we Catch will see if ULM... With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. We don't know any first responders who only give 90%. Or farmers, the workers who build our towns, roads, infrastructure. They don't stop at halfway. And good luck finding a small business owner who's happy with an 80% effort. That's why they use Ford trucks. Ford F-Series, 100% assembled in America. Because we're all in on America. We love our house. It's on a great block, tree-lined streets. The neighbors are observant. And we're back at the Sullivan house. It's lawn day, Sheila, and the leaves are piling up. Ugh, bit of an eyesore. I'll say. Dry shave, interesting technique. That's gonna come back to haunt him. Some people clean while they cook, not these folks. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Saves us a ton. If only they'd bundled the leaves. You know, I wouldn't have pegged these two as yogis. I still don't. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Yeah, with Metro, there's no contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. There's not a yada yada. Wait, Metro has not a the contract yada yada? Yada yada yada. Or is this surprise yada yada? yada, yada. Price hike yada yada. Yada 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 yada. yada. Contract yada yada. And this yada yada. I don't know, kid. That one makes sense. Oh. Nada yada yada means wireless without the gadget. No contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. Only at Metro. Once you pick up an Arby's cheese steak, it's going to be tough to set that thing back down. Hey, put it back. The commercial is not over. Arby's, we have the meat. Team, it's been a grind, but I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Who's ready to show them who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest color. Cheese, cheese, cheese. It's official sponsor of the college football whale. Well, sometimes you get to dance for your dinner, and uh, that guy, he's probably winning a dinner. Hey, I know that guy. That's Robert. Nah, joking. <laughs> Where's he going? What kind of dinner? The way he danced, it must be a steak dinner. Desmond Lighton, All-American defensive end at McNeese State. Chris Harris with you. We got a good one going here in Monroe. Yeah, these are fun. Jaya right back on the field leading this Warhawk offense who have been very versatile and they have done it through the air on the ground. That time the handoff on uh, first down. We talking it before the game, we really wanted to touch on the guys up front and how about the offensive line for App State on that last possession. Those three guys in the Middle, the interior of that line, 141 combined at games. This ULM front's been great as well. Play action pass up the middle is caught. And a first down for Bugs Mortimer. 
How about Jaya on the RPO? They've been running that all night. They've been running the split zone and then running the RPO off of it, throwing the slant. And he just gunned it in there, the Bugs. Talk about a confident pass. Excuse me. See Jaya Ryan, 11 of 17, 167 yards. A career day for Jaya Wright so far. Now the guy at quarterback looking deep down that right side, showcasing that arm. He's got a man. Got it. It's caught again. Mortimer inside the 10, down close to the five. Caught him in man, hand down, man down. Talk about, we're going to say it again, driving it in the chimney. <laughs> but uh, that was just a great route. You've got a curl and you've got a go ball. Isolates him there. Safety's late. Got him. I mean, he's just waiting almost like that was in slow motion. Yep. That it's football coming down. That secondary getting exposed a little bit. Two catches, 65 yards, bang, bang right there for this ULM offense. Yeah, that's just too much space for that, that safety to try to cover to get over the top. So a goal-to-go situation here for ULM, trying to tie this ball game back up. Hand off, and the big runner goes. Uh, this is Woolard, the Ole Miss transfer. Already has one touchdown today inside the five. Yeah, Michael Fletcher there for App, App State, that defensive line position, creating some pressure in the backfield and just getting Time off out. the block. That was all he got away with holding. App State, man. it is their first in, in. game clock operator. Can you please put the game clock. One twenty-two. One twenty-two. Timeout taken by Appalachian State. On those zone plays, there, Chris, it's gonna. It's imperative that somebody on the defensive line has to get off of a block to make the running back commit. And that's what happened there for App State. This ULM team hosting a win over Army in the season opener 17-13. ULM cheerleaders have a lot to cheer about tonight. Absolutely, they'll be smiling the entire weekend and ULM can pull off this upset. Two touchdown underdogs here. That's right. Right, if you had the under, probably not going to happen for you. It's already, I believe. Yeah. It's not over, but it's over, Desmond, yeah. if you know what I mean. Look at Terry Bowden there. What a job he has done the last couple of years. Third year here at ULM, and he has totally revitalized this program. It's the football dictionary there. He does have a law degree. Jaya Wright looking for that fade route, fakes it, he'll take it on the ground. Now he throws, has a man caught, Ty Howe. Man. A second touchdown for Howe. Just so tough to defend that. He has so many options, it's the RPO. Get him in space. He thought about handing it off, no, I'm gonna pull it. He checks play side, it's not there. Maybe the, hit the back in the, in the flats, it's not there. I'm gonna run it, no, no, never mind, I'll throw it. Usually in those type of plays, the offensive lineman will get downfield. So let's just give a shout out to ULM's offensive lineman of staying disciplined and not but also, you know, they got three yards to work with. The refs generally don't call it. The transfer from Scott Community College in Kansas. He is playing like a FBS veteran quarterback tonight against this Mountaineer defense. And guess what, Desmond? We are back even at 28. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And who got the ball to start this game there, Chris? I'm pretty sure it was ULM, so. Yep. Big. So now, with a minute left, you're going to see App State try to get a two-for-one. They're going to try to see if they can score because they get the ball back at the half. Take a look at that play again. And Hal just finding that spot and creating a great target. That's his third touchdown. He's already doubled his total coming in. Only one touchdown for Hal in the first three games. He has two so far today. Can't, can't keep a good baller down too long. There, Chris. And Jai did a phenomenal job of keeping his eyes downfield, but threatening to run and, and just, just making them take the cheese. And what happened is they took the cheese. Somebody tried to do somebody else's job. Just cover your man. Got chimneys and cheese. <laughs> Everything coming in here in this first half. Look, the alliteration. <laughs> McCormick <laughs> going down the board, baby. That's a touchback into the end zone. So App State will have it first and 10. They've got two timeouts remaining. And a minute and 17 seconds until halftime. I think it was Leslie Drake down there on that handheld camera down there with that All great side, shot. Kicking team. Five-yard penalty will be added at the dead ball spot. First down. Out. App State with two, two timeouts here with this two-minute drill coming up. So you're going to see them maybe start a little bit 
conservative on first down. And depending on what happens to that is how aggressive they'll be on this drive. Five plays, 74 yards, by the way, that last drive, a minute 49 off the clock. We have had, believe it or not, nearly 600 yards of offense. We'll be short of that, but I'm just saying nearly 600 yards of offense in the first half of this ball game. Here's Joey Aguilar in this offense for App State. Back to pass over the middle, has a man. I say that. <laughs> That's not. Ooh. Oh, Horn is hit hard, and that was another high hit. Yeah. No penalty flag on the play as Horn pops right back up. Yeah, they come out in trips and isolate him at the bottom and throw the slant to the single receiver side. He checked the trick set, didn't see what he liked. It was Norman Massey who comes he got in. He thrown Ooh. into the hit. Yeah, he did. I don't really blame Massey as much as just where it was. Noel on the carry that time. Clock under 45 seconds. As Noel, quiet first half for him. That was his ninth carry of the ball game. And that'll put him right around 30 yards. Plenty of time for Aguilar. Looks for yeah. his right side man, Horn, but it's intercepted. ULM with another tank away with 26 seconds to go. Aguilar's going to want that one back. Don't know what he saw there, Chris. Moving on the field. Jatavius Evans, Jatavius Evans there with the goal. interception. First down. Ball hungry. So and Evans. Evans. Yep, yep, he just underthrew it. The receiver wasn't ready for it. Evans was in his zone there, so he, he could turn back towards the quarterback and keep his eyes on the ball, so he was ready for it. Second pick of the year for Jatarius Evans. And all of a sudden now, with three timeouts, he got a lot of... Uh, a lot of plays to try and get at least into field goal range here. Yeah. So back on the field is Jaya Wright. And it's a very confident ULM offensive line, which is where it's really started. Derek McCormick, by the way, if you're wondering, he uh, does not have a kick outside of 39 yards this year. So do they bring pressure? Do they drop back in coverage? Look like ULM's going to run it. Yep, handoff on first down as Woolard takes that handoff. And Coach Bowden may be happy going to the locker room. They'll have the football to start the second half. I'm surprised with three timeouts, they don't take a chance to at least get into field goal range here. But Terry Bowden is satisfied with a 28-28 score at halftime after their second takeaway. Yeah, he, he had seen enough there. Yeah. He's Say, I'll take I'll take my chances in the second half there. And we've got us a barn burner here, Chris. What a great first half. These two teams with their Sun Belt opener today. And all you can say is, uh, wow, at that first half, 56 points at half. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. From first loves, to first steps. Sure, it can be a handful at times, keeping you up at night. Come on now. But with help from the Home Depot, Thank you very much. you'll find the confidence to create the first place you call your own. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. We don't know any first responders who only give 90%. Or farmers, the workers who build our towns, roads, infrastructure. They don't stop at halfway. And good luck finding a small business owner who's happy with an 80% effort. That's why they use Ford trucks. Ford F-Series, 100% assembled in America. Because we're all in on America. Saban, his coach and took over our office. And he's using it to send out medical bills. Good hands. Hospital bill for Prime. Yeah. Did you just say gap? He's talking about expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Good thing Coach Prime knows about said one time. Affleck. Because Affleck gets you money to help close that gap. Now how do we get this goat out of here? Affleck. Meet one of my new homies. <laughs> get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Affleck. Is an official sponsor of ESPN College Game Day. Elephant would have been scarier. Once you pick up an Arby's cheesesteak, it's going to be tough to set that thing back down. Hey, put it back. 
The commercial is not over. Arby's, we have the meat. Team, it's been a grind, but I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Who's ready to show them who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest coach. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese it, official sponsor of the college football playoff. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card? For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular plan. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Okay, get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. Right. Who is my all-time favorite receiver? Oh, oh, Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, it's, all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Uh, yeah, okay, it's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't even know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. What you doing? Don't we have washing machines here? Not on bath day, we don't. Ooh, cocky. You stink. Get in there. What in the world? Welcome back to the Bayou here at Malone Stadium. Desmond Lighting with my play-by-play -play guy, Chris Harris. Here, we got us a great ball game. ULM, App State tied 28-28 in this Sun Belt Conference opener. We, we got as, about as many points as what your heart rate was hey, earlier look, in the ball game. I checked my watch. <laughs> I was at 108 BPM. <laughs> like I'm riding a bike up here. My man, he will play with every single snap. 56 combined points in the first half. As we take a look at the first half stats. Now, you're not looking at final stats for these two teams. Look at the time of possession right there even. But these two teams have put on a show, and it's amazing how similar these numbers are. Yeah, two balanced teams. And you know what sticks out to me, though, is the third downs. App State has, has converted much better on third down. ULM, on their, on their successful drives, they haven't been placed in third down situations. They've been able to avoid it. But how about the passing yards? That's the biggest, like, what's going on here for, for me is Jaya Wright coming out and just having a, a career night here with the back shoulder passes, the check downs. It's, it's an overall great game. Wright individually just will toss out his numbers, 13 for 19, 215 yards, three touchdowns, two of those to Ty Howe, one interception that was returned for a touchdown. Uh, but a team that averages 95 yards passing, one of the worst <laughs> in the FBS in the first half. 215 yards, but Aguilar and uh, for ULM, Jaya Wright playing really good in that first yeah. half. Yeah, Aguilar having to come back two touchdowns down, had to respond to that, responded with a 52-yard bomb. Mm -hmm. And and how about Jaya throwing a pick six? You know, a lot of quarterbacks, especially newer ones, will go in a tank after that. He did not, kept slinging nope. that thing around. But a very confident Jaya Wright, which uh, looking ahead, it, bodes very, very well for this ULM team. Uh, on offense for App State, of course, Noel, nine carries, 34 yards in the first half, averaging 3.8 yards per carry. Nation's leading uh, a rusher in attempts and yards per game, 135.5 and 26. He is, uh, what, 17 away from his average amount of rushes per game. Yeah, and just always dangerous with them running that stretch zone. You saw it earlier with Kanye scoring for him. One person gets out of the gap, and they're going to hit their head in the goalpost. So very curious to see how does UL, can ULM keep this up. Well, the guy who is pulling up those highlights, maybe the only person more busier than those receivers, <laughs> will have those highlights from the first half after this. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. From first loves <laughs> to first steps. Sure, it can be a handful at times, keeping you up at night. Come on now. But with help from the Home Depot. I get it. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
you'll find the confidence to create the first place you call your own. The Home Depot. How doers get more done. Ford. You see the name driving down almost every road in America. But you'll also find it in other places. On the grip of hammers raising homes, in toy boxes, and classrooms. Because over 2,900 Ford dealerships nationwide means more people serving more communities like yours for more than 120 years. Ford, we are all in on America. Bob pulled up to the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Before I could get a word out, I was in tears. I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time. I'm taking my daughter to college today. She's the apple of my eye. Cars were starting to line up behind me. I went outside with my headset on. She says, it's gonna be okay. Just was so caring and compassionate. I never realized how much of an impact it would have. Tori, this is Isabella. Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> we text a lot, don't we? We text every day. You text me every morning. <laughs> Go save me. This coach done took over our office. And he's using it to send out medical bills. Good hands. Hospital bill for prime. Yeah. Did you just say gap? He's talking about expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Good thing Coach Prime knows about saying one time. Affleck. Because Affleck gets you money to help close that gap. Now how do we get this goat out of here? Affleck. Meet one of my new homies. Yeah. Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Affleck. Is an official sponsor of ESPN College Game Day. Elephant would have been scarier. Cheese, cheese, over here. Yeah. Okay, what do you got for me? Cheese, what's one thing fans can expect from you this season? I woke up feeling the cheesiest. I'm going to keep feeling the cheesiest all season long. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that. Cheese it. Feeling the cheesiest. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card? For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular plan. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Okay, get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. Right. Who is my all-time favorite receiver? Oh, Larry, oh, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't even know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. First half of football, 28-28, your score. We got a lot of highlights to get to. Desmond Lighton, Chris Harris with you. And we start out with a 14-0 start for ULM as Jaya Wright. He wasn't wrapped up much in that first half, but there was some nice plays defensively for App. But Jaya Wright, next play, he had a free play here, Desmond, and he took advantage of it. Yeah, throws the back shoulder there. Puts it in space, lets his man make a play on the ball. Darren and Wiley. That, that happened. Wiley made that twice on that. That's who got him down there on the drive. Isaiah Woolard takes it in for six. ULM jumps out to that 14 0 lead. Here comes App State, though. Very Their quarterback, drive. Aguilar, deep down the sideline. And Mr. Horn takes it in for six to make it a one score game. Yeah, they were down 14 at that time, so great response there. And then very next. Tyreek Funder Funderburg, second straight week with a pick six for App State. We're tied at 14. App State going to try and go ahead here as they work their way down the field. A pretty methodical drive for them. They get down into the red zone and they turn it into six more points. Look at this catch from Robinson. Mm, skied. Big back. That is Thad Franklin Jr. Tell you what, he did a nice job in that first half. And then fade route to none other than Ty Howe. Guess who? Back shoulder again, and then tells him, get your height up. <laughs> and he responds, I don't know how to do that. 21-21 <laughs> was the score. 
back even after that touchdown to Howell. Next time down, little Kanye in your life. Yeah, Kanye, Kanye Roberts. Outside, outside zone there, hits it. And then an interception. Game was tied at 28 apiece. Howell with two touchdowns in that first half. And that interception by Evans finished off the first half. And that's how we are at the score of 28-28 at halftime. Entertaining stuff. It's been an entertaining day in the Sun Belt. We'll take a look around the league right after this. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. We love our house. The outdoor space is great, but we do have invasive weeds. I think we got in the house. I think you're right. Stay away from my family! Why are you so strong? At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. We save so much. You want me to get the spray stuff? Get the spray stuff. Where is it? He's up here! For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Ford. You see the name driving down almost every road in America. But you'll also find it in other places. On the grip of hammers raising homes, in toy boxes, and classrooms. Because over 2,900 Ford dealerships nationwide means more people serving more communities like yours for more than 120 years. Ford, we are all in on America. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your sub right in front of you. All that meat and cheese just for me. Watching that takes me to my happy place. Oh, wait. Jersey Mike's is my happy place. Kelly, did I place an order here in my happy place? Not yet, Danny. Then I'm going back to reality. Number seven for Danny. Oh, thanks, reality, Kelly. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Cheese, cheese, over here. Yeah. Okay, what do you got for me? Cheese, what's one thing fans can expect from you this season? I woke up feeling the cheesiest. I'm gonna keep feeling the cheesiest all season long. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that. Cheese it, feeling the cheesiest. How powerful is fiber internet from Cox? Hey, old friend. Hey, buddy. So powerful that you can not only reminisce about the good old days. Let's push these babies like back in the day. I'm right behind you but relive them too. Introducing Cox Fiber from the company with the fastest download speeds eight years in a row. It's internet built for tomorrow, today. Limited availability in select areas. This is not just a shot. This is wellness made easy for those who've got plans. Get your flu shot and other vaccines in one trip. Schedule online today. Well, getting uh, close to the start of the second half here in Monroe. Entertaining first half of football. Tied at 28, both teams with their Sunbelt Conference openers. Here in Monroe, the Mountaineers and ULM. Well, it's been an entertaining day in the Sunbelt Conference as well today. Most teams playing, most, play, most uh, teams playing in conference today. And a couple of scores that really uh, jumped out at me, Desmond. Uh, Arkansas State has really uh, turned their season around. They have a big win today over UMass. South Alabama, who will be here in Monroe next week, taking on ULM, falls to James Madison today. Marshall with a, a big victory as well. Georgia Southern after 
big uh, P5 victory last week. Look at Texas State. Yeah. Beating on Southern Miss. Well, that's uh, still third quarter, but man, Southern Miss lost to Arkansas State last week, and then uh, now that score, of course, I'll tell you, what, I don't know what's going on in San Marcos, but whatever it is, it's producing a lot of points. Yeah, and, and they're rolling, and they're going to roll into this stadium, too. We're going to roll into break, and then second half action after this. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Geico makes car insurance as easy as loving Parmesan. Say when. Say when. Say when. When. <sighs> With 24-7 emergency roadside service, it's easy to Geico. Fresh ground pepper? Yes, please. Ford. You see the name driving down almost every road in America. But you'll also find it in other places. On the grip of hammers raising homes, in toy boxes, and classrooms. Because over 2,900 Ford dealerships nationwide means more people serving more communities like yours for more than 120 years. Ford, we are all in on America. Sometimes all you need to change your life is a sign. Like an actual sign that's like above you. And no, I don't love B-dubs just because I'm a buffalo with wings. Frankly, that's offensive and reductionist. It's like they made beer into a place and gave that place sports and chicken wings. And the people, the best. Marty! You're dead weight! Yeah, this place is kind of like heaven. You know, without needing to get hit by a bus. Let's go sports bar! How good does it feel when Threshold Decor welcomes more seasonal style for less? When you can save on good and gather groceries and all the fall flavors. And when quality ingredients bring more to the table. When you get low prices on the latest trends. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you're serving up tastes they love at low prices. That's Totally Target. Team, it's been a grind. But I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Who's ready to show them who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest coach! Cheese! 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 Cheese it! Official sponsor of the college football playoff. Lunch? Yes, please. That'll be $23. Uh, your ad says it's free. Yeah, it is for our economy ultimate passengers who paid extra. I'll just have water. Okay, sure. Cash or card? For water? Well, at AT&T, when we offer you our best iPhone deals, we guarantee it. Even on the new iPhone 15 Pro, made with titanium. Not that you don't keep your word, it's just that you haven't. What? Only AT&T gives everyone our best deals on any iPhone with any popular phone. Guaranteed. Get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Time for the second half here in Monroe. As ULM will kick things off. App State won the toss, deferred, so they will have the ball first to start this second half. And they'll start at their 25-yard line as the touchback. There's your harvest moon. I tell you what, you can almost see where Buzz and Neil, they uh, called home there for a couple of uh, hours. Yeah, if you look closely, you'll see uh, Elon Musk. And a <laughs> SpaceX. Well, I'll tell you what, we had some to the moon plays in that first half. And let's see if uh, the second half is a repeat. Should be a fun one. App State starting out with a pass as Aguilar hits his man on that far side. Caden Robinson for a gain of six. We're on pace for nearly 1,200 yards and over 100 points in this ball game. As a little quick out. Trying to get some yardage on first and 10 that time. I can hear my old D-line coach, Manny Michel, saying, you got to get off a block and make a play. And they, got, they, were, they were hemmed up there, ULM's cornerbacks. A little reset for us as Desmond Light alongside Chris Harris with you as that pass will go for a first down, and we got a late face mask Man. as well as Kate Robinson, again the target for Aguilar. That play looked like that meme with every – it's a 1,000 flags on the field. Did you see every single referee throw their flag there? That must have been an egregious face mask. 
few times we've seen a face First mask. Foul. Illegal block below the waist. Oh, oh. Defense, number 15. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Let's see what we see here on this replay. Yep, set up the screen and. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, do you blame him, though? Yeah. You've got a 300 pounder and Murphy coming down, and he said, I don't want none of that smoke. So he just took his legs out. It's always they scary, though. Always scary. <laughs> yeah. Simeon Hines, the guilty party there. So 15 yards and a first down. A lot of <laughs> hard hitting in that first half, and sometimes some. Calls haven't gone their way. That time, 15 yards. Handoff for Noel, and the turf monster grabbed him that time before he could get a full head of speed. Yeah, he had a full head of steam. Did you see how far he bounced in <laughs> after he hit the ground? Nine carries, 34 yards in that first half for Noel. And he had some blocking in front of him. Check him out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was going to still be running. Ooh, pancake. Second down and nine. They call that a gain of one for Noel, his 10th carry of this ball game. And those trips over there, again, Robinson, his third catch on the drive. And it'll bring up third down and short as Jeterius Evans, who had that interception to close out the first half, made the stop that time. Yeah, and just the alignment of ULM's DBs, they're gonna keep throwing that little quick screen, playing soft there, trying not to move the big ball. And we'll look at that far side again. You got the, the matchup, you got the numbers over there. Yeah. As ULM gets uh, some extra folks over there. The handoff goes left side, and I don't think he made it. No chance. No. So it'll bring up a fourth down as Noel comes well short. Yeah, they try to run the stretch zone to the weak side there. And just, just good job up front. But that was the back side making the tackle in pursuit. Again, Jeterius Evans involved on that play. So fourth down and three. We've seen the aggressiveness from Coach Clark. We knew it was coming. And here we go. So Sean Clark going to go for it here on fourth and three. Pass is caught. Aguilar's got his man. It's Noel. And Noel has the first down and more inside the 25-yard line. Did he go down? I don't think he did. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, App State. I think he went down on a ULM player, which would make him still up. He did not stop running, and Noel finds the end zone for the fifth time this year. And once that Mama, they go that man again. Just what a baller. They put the defender in a tough position by leaking Noel out of the backfield. Either take the quarterback or take Noel. Either way, they were going to get the first down. The ruler on the field. Let's see. The touchdown is under review. Does that knee hit up? I don't no. think it did. No. You had oh, to. Wait. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Come yeah, on. This okay. whole booty hit. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> we were looking at the wrong time. Yeah, that yeah. was Batten that ended up bringing him down that time. Hey, Batten's you like, never know. He's like, do I have to tackle him twice? Like, <laughs> Batten got up was like, what's going on? <laughs> well, I'll give. Uh, you know, I give Noel credit. He, he did a great acting job that time. We've seen many times uh, somebody land on a, on a teammate or an, an opponent and keep on keep on chugging. But that, that just shows you <laughs> how quick things happen out there because Noel didn't know he was down either. So, so yeah, but still a great pick up there on third down. On fourth down, excuse me. That's a fourth down yeah, conversion. fourth down and three. Yeah. Our replay call. official, by the way, is Steve Jost today. Our referee is Javaro Edwards. He'll let us After know here in a second. The ruling is that the runner is down at the 22-yard line. Right. It will be first down. The play clock will start on my signal. Yeah, there's a reason why everybody on ULM defense stopped, because <laughs> they all saw him go down. Right. But, yeah, big-time conversion there for the Mountaineers. And they caught ULM in, in just a perfect defense for that play. They had a, a blitz coming, and then you take your running back and throw him in the flats right where the blitz just left from. So Noel picks up the first down. Of course, uh, senior bowl watch list. One thing that happened with him this year, he wasn't even on the preseason Sunbelt list. That kind of gave him a chip on his shoulder. Aguilar looking over the middle, has Horn inside the 10, the first down inside the 5. He stretches it out. Did he get in? Yes. yes, touchdown Mountaineers. And, and and that's just him checking it down to a shallow drag route there, Chris. And the run with the yak yards after the play. The trips had three deep routes, so you had run off your defenders there. 
and you've got he ran right through the zone, Michael Batten there. And the one-on-one -on -one oppor opportunity yeah. for the tackle. Did he get I it? I don't know. This is going to be reviewed. I, from the first glance, I didn't see his foot go out of bounds. He definitely stretched the ball across the pylon. It's a good uh, teamwork over there he by the officials. Five nine jumping up on him. See it one more time here from this side. How about Horn? What yeah. a great move to, to get there. Let's see. And, well, his toe. You got to look where was his toe at. It's going to be close. But that's just a tough ass there. He ran all the way through the zones. Michael Batten sitting in that hook zone. This runs the, right past him. This is the angle right here where we will see it. Watch his right foot. In. Or that left foot. That was in. At like six, man. I don't know. I don't think there's – I don't know that there's enough to, to overturn, overturn it. it. So it would stand. And it, I saw green on his toe. Man. And that's going to stand. Yep. Here we go. So they uh, have – Giving them permission to go ahead, and Hughes will try to attempt the PAT here. So App State back up on top, and he remains perfect uh, on the day in extra points. And Appalachian State back up by seven. Well, we had 56 points in the first. <laughs> Settle in, folks. We got some fun belt in prime time here in Fun Row. Lowe's knows to expect the unexpected. So when you need an appliance fast, we've got you covered with trusted brands the moment you need them. You don't have to sweat the unexpected. Get what you need when you need it, now at Lowe's. Who says you can't get everything you want? Like going for bold without going broke. And staying true to your taste while staying on budget. Who says rising costs means lowering the bar? Settling, no need. Get the brands you want, the prices you want, whenever you want. TJ Maxx, where you can always afford to be you to the max. My dad would always send me this picture of this lion and it's all scarred up on his face. Yes, it's beaten up. Yes, it's scarred, but it's still the king of the jungle. There's things that I've walked through and hard times and the losses and the injuries. It's a reminder to me. You may go through certain things. You may get beaten up, but you get up, you level up, and you're ready to compete and do it all over again. Here's where legends are born, and every match is a spectacle. For the love of football, for the love of La Liga. You could try explaining to your dog that every Nom Nom recipe has been expertly crafted by our vet nutritionists. You could mention that the real, fresh ingredients will help give them the energy they need. But your dog just wants to know if it's worth devouring. And there's the answer right there. NomNomNow.com Kim Monroe and Coach Sean Clark and his Mountaineers lead it by seven. And a tussle here on the bayou alongside Desmond Lighton. I'm Chris Harris with you. Coach, Coach Sean Clark looks like he likes what he sees from the offense, but he's tired of the defense being like wet Charmin tissue. Because that, neither one of these defenses has gotten many stops here so far. Who's going to have the ball last? Chris is what it's looking like it's going to be. Sunbelt shootout here in Monroe. We've had uh, a lot of kickoffs, a lot of chance at returns. Here's another chance at a return from Allred Luke. There is a penalty marker down as he takes it out near the 35-yard line. And that's where Jaya Wright and this ULM offense will Gonna get a holding there on the return. Penalty back there at the 20, which would push them back halfway, half the distance of the goal to the 10. It was a shame because it didn't really need to grab on. It was a quick grab. They got him. Personal foul. Illegal blindside block. Oh. 31 of the receiving team. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Monroe. So they committed two penalties. They just caught the blindside. Take a look. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
They're going to get you. And so they're, they're coaching him now to instead of go for the, the big haymaker blocks, like just to shield him off. If he would have just shielded him off with his body, they wouldn't have called that. And that's all they would have took. And that was the back judge that threw that flag. It's been a, a very hard hitting ball game for a shootout. It's been a very physical ball game yep. here at Malone Stadium. There's Jaya Wright. What a job he has done today. 13 of 19, 215 yards, three touchdowns. Tell you what, it's uh, sometimes been a little inconsistent in that position, kind of bringing some Caleb Evans feels back in here. He'll keep it over that right side and breaks a tackle, a couple of tackles. Yeah. Even uh, his jersey being pulled. Nice game, Nick Ross on the stop. Yeah, they had the counter read. He elects to pull it. That backside in crashes down. He's got contained. And catch your peeking. He's leaking. Now Ross had him by the uh, shirt tail. Oh, no, to pick up uh, of 10 and a first down. Pick up a 13 and a first down for Jaya Wright. He's back to pass this time. Nice pump fake. Looking right. deep down the side. Has a couple of Warhawks in the passes. He snatched it away. Intercepted by Jordan Favors. Now they had dual possession at the end of the play. And dual possession. The tie is supposed to go to the receiver. He snatched it away at the end, though. Okay. Well, I, I noticed that Favors was the one with the ball, but it's a catch yeah, yeah, for that's, Wiley that's, and ULM. That's going to go to the offensive player because he landed down with, with dual possession. Check him out. And then he snatches it away at the end. That was all around Luke. Now we got a, a loose Warhawk down inside the 10 yard line. That is Woolard. And it's now first and goal for ULM. What a change of momentum there. The catch, that was all red Luke. Now it's Woolard on the run. The tempo, hit him with the zone real quick. Now let's see if they go back to that fade route in the corner of the end zone. As Wright looking over towards that sideline, the OC, Matt Kubik, he has called one heck of a game so far today. Absolutely. They're and he's got first down and goal here. No, no reason to rush here. Trying to tie this ball game back up. Speed option towards that far side. He'll keep it. And he goes nowhere. Trying to pull that ball loose that time. Yeah, just went with the QB power sweep. You take your running back and lead, turns into a lead blocker. Here's that run by Woolard. We were trying to get back from that yep. replay. They were going so fast as Woolard found a lot of green turf. That play... Set up that last. Great read there by Willard. Keeping it play side. Bouncing. It was a 36-yard completion before that run by Woolard, which nearly was an interception by Favors as he wrestled it away, but it was after the catch was called on the field by Luke. They had it at the same time. Here's the handoff up the middle, and stumbling is Woolard. Back to that original line of scrimmage at the seven. So third down and goal from the seven. And I don't think field goals are going to win this ball game, Desmond. No. no this so. may be four down territory. And that's going to dictate the play that gets called here on third down, knowing that in, in, in those situations, Coach Bowden uh, let, let Coach Kubik know, hey, you've got two if you need it. And we'll run back here. Uh, a couple of planes ago, 32 total yards. Here's Wright rolling to the right side. He is under duress, and he will take oh. it inside the five. Did he get to the pylon? He is out of bounds at the one. That was going nowhere, and Jaya Wright nearly scored. That play had trouble ridden all over it. They run the sprint out with the blitz coming to get him, and you just you thought that backside blitz was going to catch him, but he was like the little engine that could. He just kept on chugging along. I think what Jaya Wright is creating a lot of confidence for not only him, but his teammates with the way he's played this football game. You got four guys, yeah. and they're all bigger than you running at you, and he just put his shoulder down. Here's a quarterback sneak, and that's a touchdown for Jaya Wright. We got what a ball, ball game. game. What a ball game. We got us a ball game here, and Jai is a gamer right now there, Chris. And I'll tell you what, App State's defensive coordinator is pulling his hair out because he's thinking the play before I got the call on, somebody's got to make a play. How about that? This is my uh, least favorite play in football, <laughs> <laughs> the mush rush. 
rushing touchdown. How about four TDs now, three passing and one rushing for Jaya Wright as we have an injured Warhawk down in the end zone right now. But we're an extra point away from being tied again at 35. Yeah. Which is why that's my least favorite play is there's just so many bodies and, and generally somebody's falling on top of you or a knee or something gets twisted. And you hate to see it. That's one of ULM's big offensive linemen there who got the push. That's going to be Stacy Wilkins. Oh, boy. While he is down, we're going to step aside. Hi, this is Chantrese, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich is the richness of the pimento cheese. No, actually, the mild spiciness of the jalapeno peppers. No, it's the crispy chicken. Actually, I can't decide. It's the entire sandwich. Hey, my name's Liam, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich is that it's so creamy. The pimento cheese has the great flavor, but it also lets everything else on the sandwich elevate it. That takes it up to another level. It's the best. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. From first loves to first steps. Sure, it can be a handful at times, keeping you up at night. Come on now. But with help from the Home Depot, <laughs> you'll find the confidence to create the first place you call your own. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. We have a special guest today on ESPN College Game Day, the Geico Deco. Oh, look, just get to the part when you tell everyone how easy it is to ensure what's important to them. Home, car, even RV. Come on, there's an RV right there. Did, did he even see the talking points I gave him? I don't believe so, sir. For all your insurance needs from home to car to RV, it's easy to get go. Desmond, I forgot the talking points. Ford, you see the name driving down almost every road in America, but you'll also find it in other places, on the grip of hammers raising homes, in toy boxes and classrooms, because over 2,900 Ford dealerships nationwide means more people serving more communities like yours for more than 120 years. Ford, we are all in on America. Well, back here in Monroe and Stacy Wilkins down in... Boy, tell you what, this doesn't look good for him and a boy. This, here's, here's a look back though at that scoring drive which is Brought us to this 35-34 mark. And it started out with this 50-50 ball. Literally, all red Luke had it. And then it was ripped away by Favors, but he had it long enough to control the catch. And then Favors, while he thought he had it, he didn't. <laughs> Here's Isaiah Woolard with this 32-yard run. The old Miss transfer who has been outstanding this year for this ULM team. Takes it inside the 10, and, uh, well, Desmond, Jaya Wright did the rest. Yeah, yeah Jaya put, called his own number twice there to There's punch a, it in and, and even this thing out. Stacy Wilkins, that's when he got hurt in that big pile, and you, yeah, you, you touched on it, it, you know, how, how dangerous that quarterback sneak can be. Here's a look at what's coming up for ULM. Of course, this is a big two-week stretch for the Warhawks. South Alabama is here next week. Then they go on the road for a couple. But, of course, bowl eligibility is one thing that's one of the major goals for this ULM team. And back-to-back -back weeks this week, you see, of course, home games coming up later at Arkansas State. Troy have a trip to Ole Miss. And then Louisiana Lafayette to close out the season. Yeah, just a tough stretch there that's going to be predicated about how they can perform in this game mm -hmm. against a very game Appalachian State team that is looking to win conference there in their own right. One thing that Coach Bowden talked about was having the early bye week not necessarily a good thing is you look at what's coming up for the Mountaineers. They'll have Coastal Carolina. They get to go back to Boone next week. Then they have uh, some extra time for Old Dominion. But there's really not many weeks off when you play in this Sun Belt. This is a very balanced conference this year. Yeah, week in, week out. And, and we talked to 
to Coach Kubik and he talked about how maybe they, they hold a little bit back earlier. You know, you want to win games coming into conference without having to show too much of your hand. And I guarantee you Coach, Coach Clark is doing the same thing. But now in games like this, they're, they're going to dump everything they got out the well. And, uh, of course, the card out there, and that is Stacy yeah. Wilkins. Thinking about him right now, 6'7", 312 pounds from Camden, Arkansas. You see him in the middle of that pile. Just getting a great push. Getting a great push there. And you can just see him get rolled up yep. on. Right there in the at middle. At the end by his own quarterback. And landed on top of him. Yeah, he's pushed on top. And, and Stacy's a, a mainstay on this offensive line. Stood next to him. on the, He's a big human. Yeah. It's going to be a loss. He's definitely going to be felt. Tons of missed. He's a graduate. Of course, from Camden, Arkansas, transfer from Oklahoma. And that's your left tackle. It's a huge loss for ULM. And there's a blocked that extra point. Is this might be returned. And uh, it will not, but a huge play. And you wonder that time creates a potential block opportunity. Kickoff coming up next. How good does it feel when Threshold Decor welcomes more seasonal style for less? When you can save on good and gather groceries and all the fall flavors. And when quality ingredients bring more to the table. When you get low prices on the latest trends. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you're serving up tastes they love at low prices. That's Totally Target. Lowe's knows to expect the unexpected. So when you need an appliance fast, we've got you covered with trusted brands the moment you need them. You don't have to sweat the unexpected. Get what you need when you need it, now at Lowe's. I want the training to be uncomfortable. I want the mental part of it to be uncomfortable so that when the game comes, it's easy. You gotta mentally wake up and make a decision on who you wanna be that day. How can I get better? How can I take this opportunity to step into a new level. I'm all about things that work. And with UFOs, I saw a product that was working, it was helping. You know, I actually feel better, I feel stronger, I feel faster. Oh man, the way Bryce is able to cover the whole field is incredible. Yeah, he's really spreading it around. You guys could help, you know. Just doing our jobs, Bryce. Just doing our jobs. Yeah, we're working too. Here's where legends are born, and every match is a spectacle. For the love of football, for the love of La Liga. The Little League World Series champions! Chris Vaughn telling his son that he was being drafted. You want to come to work with me next week? Makes it so magical. Deuce Vaughn in the end zone! ESPN Plus, Desmond. Man, remember this play in a shootout. You've got Jordan Favors coming in with the block recovered there by Nick Ross, who also has an interception on the season. In a game like this, that play could be pivotal. And I loved those type of extra point plays because sometimes people will take them off, Chris. They will take a break there, and it's essentially still in points if you can get a block. That was uh, the first block to extra point given up this year by ULM. Remember, they almost blocked one earlier. They did. So Derek McCormick sent to kick it away. As it's a one-point game, but that is, you mentioned it, pivotal in this shootout as there's another McCormick touchback. He's been pretty much uh, a machine when it comes to putting the ball through the end zone. And here comes the Appalachian State offense, which so far today has put up a total uh, 342 yards. How about ULM at 371 yards? And this App State defense 
And once again, giving up some points here today. Now, of course, a lot of those points coming in that double overtime loss to North Carolina earlier this year. But see if this offense can answer once again. Right now, Jaya and Aguilar have the same amount of yards, <laughs> 251 apiece. Here's a toss, and nothing happening at that time is, once again, Kanye Roberts, who had the touchdown in the first half, takes the pitch, and he loses a couple. Yeah, Justin Kimber for ULM with the contain there. Standing up his man. They try to hit you with the outside zone. Now, the rover, the outside defender, can blow up that play in their defense if you just can get your hands on the offensive lineman and, and get a release, which he did. Bucky Williams. Think what he's had a monster ball game. That time he had a little bit of a uh, let up that time is once again Kanye with that run. Kanye Roberts. And correction, that was Joseph Backhold on the tackle on the play before. So it's third down now for Abstain. How big would the stop be here for ULM? Pivotal. Got to get off the field in these third down and lay. Set up a third and long, which App State hasn't had a lot of. They've been doing a great job of staying ahead of the chains. Third down in the ball game. App State five of eight on third downs. They like the trips here. On the season at 47%. Aguilar has some time. He's got some running room if he wants to go. He'll take it, and he gets the first down and more. He's across towards midfield. <laughs> and he has the first down. Just the scramble drill that time. And Aguilar comes up with a big run. Okay, Aguilar. And so they, can't, they they like the trips to that set, and you catch ULM running man coverage. So what happens? You've got to run with your guys. So he catches the defenders with their backs turned, and he just takes off, man. He had 83 yards total rushing coming into the ball game. So, you know, he has had some success running the football. Aguilar, the junior from Antioch, California. Moving to change. Diablo Valley Community College, and he had a great relationship with his O.C. Frank Ponce, who recruited him while he was at Miami, and now, of course, he's here at Appalachian State now. Hand off off the left side that time. Not much there as Kanye Roberts with that uh, carry. Yeah, Kennard Snyder with a little penetration there, messing up that zone. And once again, when you run any of those stretch zones, any type of penetration just really, really kills those type of plays. Low snap that time. Aguilar handles it, though, and now the pocket collapses, Humble. and the ball is loose. ULM's got it. They're going to blow it dead? Sound like the whistles blew it dead. Wow. Early on the field. It's a fumble. Recovered. Yeah. I don't By know Monroe. if ULM ever First had down. possession uh, to it be had. down. So if he had if he didn't have possession, then they, he, he wasn't down then. This would be the third turnover of the ball game for App State. And Massey, of course, they're picking it up. I think that was Snyder again on the sack that actually stripped him. <laughs> we'll turn over belt. Yeah, the WWE here. Yeah, you'll see a little pressure there. Yeah, and that's Snyder again with the sack and the strip sack. Ball comes out. I don't know if he ever had possession for them to blow it either. dead. I don't know either. And that's why Coach Terry Bowden was on the field. Livid. Looking like he's doing his best Jimbo Fisher impersonation. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. He jumps on it. Rolls. Well, there's no doubt the ball was loose. Yeah, he, he recovered it. Now it's just. He was laying on the ground, and it's like, does he? did he have fully? It looked like it was close. I see why they blew it dead. Though. Right. Pump fakes looking down that far side. Has a man on the boundary, but out of bounds. Out of bounds as he looks for Wiley, who had a huge first half, a really huge first quarter. Yeah, just running the speed out there, trying to get him to him on time. Pumps it. Oof, that was close. Oh, Wiley definitely had his biggest game of the season. Three catches, 77 yards, all coming early as they'll check the sideline here. App State leading by a point on a block to extra point. That's the difference right now in this ball game. Second down and 10 here for Jaya Wright in this ULM offense. Looking for that deep fade route. It's been there today. Boy, a yeah. lot of wrestling. And they're going to call a pass interference. And he's looking for Tyrone Howell down that sideline. Yeah, and that, that play was set up by the plays that Ty Howe has made earlier. Because the DB gets a little bit, get a little bit handsy just because you don't have your confidence in your pass position there. Ethan Johnson defense. on the pass Number interference. 19, 15 yards in the previous spot. 
Automatic. Great cover First corner. Down. And it's a shame that because he was in great position. He was in phase. And that's when you, you, you tell Ethan, just trust your position. Don't reach out and be hands. And he's trying to c compress the sideline there, which is what he's doing, which is why he puts his hand on it. Seven targets for Howell. Five catches, 48 yards, and two touchdowns for the preseason all Sun Belt selection. Right? Well, he's been cool, calm, and collected today. Hits Howell this time. And he's wrapped up quickly, just shy of that 30-yard line. There's so much action going on on that, on that play, RPO look. Daryl Farrar on the tackle there. They, they've got counter look on the inside, so that's going to hold the linebackers, and then he's throwing the screen on the outside to how. We've seen this ULM offense use tempo at times, and then we've seen them do uh, do like this, Desmond, and that's really slow things yeah. down. Slow it down, get the defense a breather. Time of possession was perfectly even at halftime. This time the handoff goes to uh, Smith. And Smith, who's had a pretty quiet ball game, takes it just inside that 30. So here comes third down and long now for ULM. You're in field goal range here, you would think. ULM's offense runs off of this split zone. It sets up their entire offense. If they can successfully run that play, it opens everything else up. Derek McCormick, three of four on the season. Here's a pass that's into coverage, looking for Hal. He got it, but he did not get the first down. It's going to bring up fourth down and short. What a catch yeah. by Ty Howe. Looks like, looks like Giant got a little bit of happy feet there. The pocket hadn't quite collapsed, but he jumped out of there, found his safety valve, and Howe. He had somebody draped all over him. Great catch. And it was, again, Ethan Johnson who was on coverage. He's had the assignment today for the most part to That's cover. A tough, That's a tough ask. To cover Ty Howe. Here comes a potential sneak and a great push. Up front, that looks know. like uh, he has it. What's? Well, it's gonna be close. Oh, they, they're yeah. gonna get the first downs there. Yeah, it's, it's tough to. That's tough. That's that. That. Uh, what is that? Uh, Philadelphia booty mm -hmm. push play. Yeah, definitely. A lot, a lot of big booty. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I digress. They got the job done. Fresh set of downs for the Warhawks, and they're trying to bring in some fresh bodies. App State. Yeah, they, they use tempo here now. And they'll check towards that sideline. Hunter Smith in the ball game. Sophomore from Little Rock in the backfield who had those 100-yard games the first two of the season. It's Army and Lamar. And they'll hand it off to Smith. Bounces it to the outside. Takes it inside the 15 before he's brought down by Nick Ross. Yeah, that's it. And that's if you're Nick Ross, he did a good job just to corral him. It's a little bit of a, a poundage discrepancy between the two when they're running the zone. So a gain of about six there. Now that speed option for Wright. He is a good ball carrier. He's got the first down, and it's first and goal for the Warhawks. Yeah, and on that power sweep, it's just a numbers thing. You get an extra blocker in your running back. Check out Hunter Smith turning into a blocker here, sealing that edge. And then Jaya just going and, and get, picking up the yardage to get a fresh set of downs. How about right? 12 carries in this ball game, up to 41 yards and a touchdown, averaging 3.3 yards per yeah. carry. He's the second leading rusher behind Woolard, who has 49 yards on six carries. Looking for that fade to the corner of the end zone, and Ty Howe, he has it. Was he inbounds? No. Out of there. And once again, this is a matchup mano a mano between he and Ethan Johnson. He and yeah. Ethan Johnson, and it's a tough ask. He got his hands on them. They were both hand fighting. I like how the referee's letting them play. But he still somehow came down with the it. ball. He caught that football, which is <laughs> which is remarkable. Yeah, and, and check out Ethan Johnson. He's got he's got hands on them. They're both trying to make a play on the ball. That's crazy. It's I not, mean, you're looking at a guy that's going to be playing on Sundays. Yeah. And what a, that was probably the best uh, recruit that Terry Bowden had was keeping Tyrone Howell <laughs> yeah. in a Warhawk jersey this past offseason. And he has two touchdowns Number today as Smith. Half State has to come out for a play. Helmet off. Helmet pops off of Daryl Farrar that time, so he has to go out. But it brings up third down and goal here. And I tell you what, yeah. Wright has proven. I don't know if they're going to spy him, but I would keep an eye on Jaya Wright here running the football. Yeah, and, and Farrar, the six foot one, 220 pound redshirt freshman coming off. That's a little bit of a loss there. I have to stay. Look and see if you them try to target that position. Man in motion, the tight end for ULM. 
Looking towards that right side, and he has a man. He has Ty Howe, mm. and ULM's back up on top. Mama, there go that man again. Ty Howe just doing what he does, running the slant, manning up in App State. They're, they're saying, hey, Johnson, go cover him. Do your thing. You're on an island. Who's going to win? Well, not one, not two, but how about the hat trick now for Tyrone Howe as they'll try to go for two here and get that point back. Yeah, all too critical uh, for the Warhawks here. Now, if they don't get this, remember remember that blocked oh, yeah. extra point that set up a cascade of events. We talked even about you don't even want to try to attempt a field goal in a game like this. No, and they're going to have to burn a timeout here. Timeout. One roll. It is their first. It will be 30 seconds. Well, you don't want to burn a timeout necessarily, but this is a big, big two-point conversion. Yeah, they, they had a trouble getting the, the right personnel in. There was some miscommunication there, and that play clock was running. And it was either, do we want a two-point conversion five yards further away or burn a timeout? They chose a timeout. Here's another look. Tell me about that route, just a straight slant? Straight slant, and the, because of the formation, the safety just doesn't have a time to help out to get over there in it. So just a quick slant. Which is why he was aligned so far at the bottom of the screen. And the, because of the split zone that they run, that safety has to stay somewhat close to the box to be able to help with that. Scoring drive, 10 plays, 46 yards, 4 minutes, 11 seconds off the clock. That's one of the lengthier drives we've had today. And now this two-point play. As Jaya Wright in this offense work from that far hash, that's what they picked. Man in motion, that's Mortimer. As they bring it to this right side, and the pass is broken up at the last second. What a huge defensive play by Favors. Looking for that motion man, Mortimer. Incredible play on the ball because he had Bugs Mortimer running full speed into the flats, and he's in a zone, so he's got to come from across the field to try to get there, make a play on that ball. The ball was a little bit late. The ball was on time. Maybe he's not there. But, hey, great job of Favors covering that ground. And now, once again, that block extra point has cost them three points. Yep. So... ULM will kick it away to App State, what has become a survival of the fittest. You look at Terry Bowden there. And uh, let's take a look. Uh, well, we have a chance here. What's going on around the Sun Belt Conference? Games in progress. Southern Miss, they're back in that ballgame, Desmond. 42-36. Man. Will Hall's punch. How about that? Yeah, looked like Colorado USC earlier. 38-28. Marshall a winner today over Old Dominion. James Madison, a winner over South Alabama. They'll be here next week. Minnesota knocks off the Cajuns as they went up to try to uh, stop the rolling of the boat up there in Minnesota today. <laughs> so another touchback. That's been a every occurrence, every kick occurrence for Derek McCormick today. Yeah, as it's like death be, and taxes. He's going to make it in the end zone. It'll be uh, App State ball, first and 10 from their own 25-yard line. Look at that offensive line. I tell you what, 141 games, that interior right there of the App State offensive line. Good-looking group. So here comes App State. Your turn. Aguilar, swing pass over there to Noel. Noel back on the field. And he picks up five on the play. Noel, not a huge receiving back necessarily. Has seven catches on the year now for... About 36 yards. That was a pre-snap read by Aguilar, a read in the zone that Yulin was playing, and just get it to your back in the flats and take what you can get. Once again, the handoff to Noel. Wow. Lots of running room. He's into ULM territory immediately, and finally is thrown to the turf at the 35. There's the first chunk play for Noel. And that's what I mean by it. it's so dangerous. You run the zone, you run the zone, five, six here, five, six there. All it takes, one, he finds that gap. And Michael Batten's a little bit late from his Mike linebacker position, didn't fit right, and Noel's going to make you pay. He almost split those safeties, too. He's about to hit his head on the goalpost. Watching going right, at, right behind Daly and Williams up the middle. Once again, they give it back. A penalty marker comes flying in as Kanye Roberts was on the, on the carry that time after the 35-yard game. Straight blocking regardless of the call. Holding. Offense, number 54. That's a huge holding oh, call. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. 
Still first down. We call those drive killers there, Chris. And, yeah, if you can see. Hmm. What do you think there? What 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 number did they uh, they give? I missed it. I didn't see a line on I that didn't shot. See, I, I didn't see much holding. It, if it was holding, it was close. Take a tack. So first and 20 now. Aguilar looking over the middle. He's got a man horn, but he can't haul it in. A little bit underthrown. And a good coverage that time by ULM. Yeah. As A.J. Watts was back there. You know, first in a mile, and App State decides to take a shot off of the play action. And it was there. He had him. But the pressure is what set up that underthrown ball. They say a good rush oh, is man. like makeup. About three more yards or so. If he can set his feet, he makes that throw. He was, yeah, off that back foot. Back to play, and there's a handoff to Noel. Nothing there, and it brings up third down at about 18 now for App State. Yeah, you got your backside, Kennard Snyder, uh, Snyder coming in again from his DM position to make that play on his zone. Noel will be in for this third quarter, so not many plays in the playbook for third and 19, but that's what App State will have. When we come back, 75 points through three quarters. My dad would always send me this picture of this lion. And it's all in the need Dairy herbal power. This is the. I got this. Hell. The love of football. We are. It's been, well, a lot of up and down the field tonight. Yeah. And three quarters. Big time ball game. Huge drive here for the Mountaineers. Remember that first down holding call if this drive ends in a punt. But in third and forever, you got to watch the screens and the draws, and maybe they're thinking they're in four down territory. They might try something short and underneath to make a fourth and manageable. This is the old draw play usually on third and 19, but he's going to go deep. He's under pressure pass from Aguilar to Noel, and then he drops. I don't know if he lost his footing or what, yeah. but Aguilar was under pressure immediately and a loss of five on the play. And they were setting up the screen there. And ULM, aware of the down and distance, was ready for the screen. So you see Biggers there. That's why in position. But they had the blitz home, which made him throw that ball a little bit faster than he wanted to. Anyway, you, gotta get, you know, in a, in a game where there's been 75 points, you don't necessarily think you're going to brag on the defense. But you know what, Coach Koenig's done a nice job with that defense. No. But you tell your defense in games like this, just get us one stop. For either side, both defensive coordinators are saying you just need one more stop than the other team. Mitchell Lake with the punt that time. Actually, uh, yeah, it was Mitchell Lake with the punt that time, the Aussie. Game clock operator, I mean, play, play clock operator. Reset the play clock and wait to my signal. 25 seconds, please. Yeah. Having a little, some little clerical issues there with the game clock operator. So that was that was kind of a uh, uh, put you in your yeah, yeah, in let your room you know. type of a, <laughs> type I'm of just letting you know. Just let you know. <laughs> We're gonna throw a flag on you next time. <laughs> Don't let it happen again. Five point lead for ULM. They are trying to go up two scores for the first time today. This is a big drive here. Of course, you go back to last week for. Appalachian State with 11 minutes left. They had a 19-7 lead. Pass over the middle is deflected and incomplete as he was looking for Bugs Mortimer over the middle. And there was that RPO again. And they got up two scores earlier. It just happened. It went away so fast. Jaya Wright has Woolard in the ball game. The running back. That's who yeah. he play faked too. And then it was 26, which called his name a few times today with that uh, deflection as that and will go backwards that time. Another great penetration by App State. Yeah, looks like it's going to be a sack there. 
Th that was a coverage sack. Like he's trying to throw the flats, and it wasn't there. And sometimes you guys got you just got to put that in the stands. But we call those plays drive killers. <laughs> Nate Johnson there on the sack to set up a a big time opportunity to get off the field here for the Mountaineers. Going going back to it was Caden Sullivan with that pass deflection. Nate Johnson, the freshman, with that big penetration that time. But now some running room for Woolard as he gets loose out to the 25 yard line as he picks up five plus where they started. So it brings up fourth down now. He picks up about 12 of the 17 needed. And it'll be a punt situation for ULM. That is a massive stop for Appalachian State. I'll tell you what, we've been talking about these defenses, but when they needed to get the stop, they've been coming up with the stops when the rubber hits the road. And that was just a great run there by Willard waiting for the gap to develop. But I think that was just waiting, trying to get some space for your punter there more so than trying to get the first down. Well, in seven carries, 49 yards, averaging seven yards per rush. You feed that man as the punt is away by Gilbo. And this mm. one angling towards the sideline. Not a good punt yeah. that time. And it's going to be great field position here for App State. He's still moving. My goodness, at the 45-yard line in ULM territory. And that's when you're, you're... That's a shake. That's when your OC says, heck, I, I could have went for it for that, you know? And what a win there for the Mountaineers' defense to force that three and out. I didn't really think there was that much pressure, but it was just a, a, a shank that time. Just went straight out of bounds as that punt goes officially 20 yards. And App State in plus territory here, Desmond. Aguilar will hand it off up the middle and a gain of seven that time. As they get the ball pretty much right back where they had to give it up as Noel gets that carry. And I just can't overstate how good they're, they're blocking on the edges when they run that bunch with the H back. They're just collapsing that right side of the line when they run that zone. Noel, 5'10", 190 pound junior from Miami. Coming in 542 yards rushing. He's got 74 in this one on 13 carries. Shotgun formation is they'll back up into that pistol formation now. Stack the right side. Same thing. Noel running room around that left side. Two men to beat as he gets down inside the 15. What a run for Noel. And you can see the power. He added those extra pounds during the offseason. And that's when that hard work pays off, runs like that. And that's, that, that makes you stay so honest. That play was designed, that was the same play they ran before. It was designed to go to the right, but he they did not stay at home on the backside. He cut back. So first and 10 here after that nice run. They're going to feed Noel again, breaks two tackles, and then gets hit out of bounds. Nearly a late hit, but he was motioning in. But Noel going to get a breather here, it looks like. Nice couple of rushes for him. 27 on the previous, three on that one. And that doesn't look like much, but that, uh, another running back, and that's a TFL. Mm -hmm. That was great penetration there. He did all he could to hit the edge. Noel now has a, another 100-yard game. That's the 14th of his career. Five straight, now six straight, 100-yard games. Under pressure, that ball nearly was nicked by a pass rusher as it goes out of bounds out of the back of that end zone. And once again, a great pass rush is like makeup. He had space if he could set his feet. And Aguilar couldn't set his feet because of the pass rush, which made him rush that, that over route. Fourth quarter here in Monroe. Five-point ball game. And it's third down and seven. They need the four-yard line down there for a first down. And Joey Aguilar, the junior, working out of the shotgun. He looks, fade towards that corner, has a man, but it's overthrown as he looks for his intended receiver, Makai Jackson. And it's fourth down. Yeah, just, just good coverage there. Caught him manned up there. Tried to run the fade. Had him one-on-one -on -one in space. He threw it to open area, just a little bit behind him. If he throws it to the upfield shoulder, he may, maybe he can run up under that. Jackson targeted again. And they're going to line up for a field goal here. So Michael Hughes, four for four in the first half last week. On the season, eight for 11. 
And this one will be from 28 yards out to make this a two-point uh, ball game, and it is drilled through that time. So it's a two-point game with 10.58 to go. Don't go anywhere. Hi, this is Chantrice, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich is the richness of the pimento cheese. No, actually the mild spiciness of the jalapeno peppers. No, it's the crispy chicken. Actually, I can't decide. It's the entire sandwich. Hey, my name's Liam, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Honey Pepper Pimento Chicken Sandwich is that it's so creamy. The pimento cheese has the great flavor, but it also lets everything else on the sandwich elevate it. That takes it up to another level. It's the best. Your first home sees a lot of firsts. From first loves to first steps. Sure, it can be a handful at times, keeping you up at night. Come on now. But with help from the Home Depot, Thank you very much. you'll find the confidence to create the first place you call your own. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. We love our house. The outdoor space is great, but we do have invasive weeds. Ranger! He's up here! At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. We save so much. Stay away from my family! For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. <laughs> On a devastating Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Whoa! That was back in the period! That's it! Season's over! Our program's cursed! See? I can't watch this. Every year I fall for the preseason hype! I made all this for nothing! Never watching football again. Hey guys, that was the first play of the game. Oh, oh, maybe yeah. we overreacted. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Fourth corner, 10.58 to go. Field goal was good by Michael Hughes from 28 yards out. And it's a two-point game at 42-38. As ULM will get the football back. We've had almost 850 yards combined of offense in this ball game. And now 78 points. <laughs> no one... Uh, predicted a shootout here tonight but here we are in the fourth quarter as Hughes has had a touchback every time this time he will again all but one time and that time it'll go over the head of all red Luke for the touchback and, and you got to think for ULM's defense that was a win considering the situation with Appalachian State getting the ball at midfield in those conditions to hold him three points and and we know Frank Ponce the offensive coordinator for App State was He's talking about this last week. They didn't want three, they want seven. If you look at the history, of course, for ULM, only one win in seven meetings with App State. It's a ULM team. They have had some big victories here at home in the Terry Bowden area. I think back to that Hugh Freeze Liberty team. They came in as a 30-point underdog and one by three. This time, Wright going to keep it around that left side. Whoa. He's got running room. Oh, one man to beat. And he nearly had six. Jaya oh, Wright. Okay. okay, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reconsider my thoughts on Jaya. They run the read option. He pulls it, fold the cameraman. He's running down the side. I watch him put his foot in the ground and make the corner miss to get about 15 more yards. So Wright picks up the first down. I'm still he uh, has been uh, outstanding. You see his numbers. Uh, today, 17-26, 265, 4-1. He has a rushing touchdown as well. So five total touchdowns for Jaya Wright. He's wanting to be the Sunbelt Conference Offensive Player of the Week as his pass is complete over there. And that's Wiley. Uh -oh. Wiley lost the football. Ball App State's up. got it right at midfield. Mm. Right on the field. It's a fumble recovered. And just a, just a ball-hungry play and you kind of you got to feel for the Warhawks here that's going to be DeAndre Prince punching that ball out check him out at the end and recovered there 
That's who recovered it, oh, yeah. And that's DeAndre Prince on mm-hmm. the recovery. But And you got to feel for the – he was just trying to make an extra effort play there. Yeah, Darian Wiley. Yeah. W- Wiley just trying to make a play tr- for, his, for his team, and, and it's going to cost him. So after the turnover, we'll see if they want to take a shot. They don't. It's a true give to that left side, and not much happening there on first down. Yeah, and, and to pull off the upsets when you're two touchdown underdogs, one thing you can't do is give your opponent extra shots. Two turnovers for ULM. That's the first since the pick six. Three turnovers today for App State. It was a give to Noel. Yep, trying to hit that outside zone. Six straight 100-yard games for him. 14 in his career. Oh. And there's a pick for ULM. Another turnover. And this time it goes back the other way. What is going on here? My goodness there, Chris. E.J. Watts with the pick. Yeah, and, and just, ULM's in business. My goodness, they're trading turnovers. And I think Aguilar just got caught a little greedy trying to hit the over route. That's just a great play by A.J. Uh, yeah, Watts. Trying to hit the post, excuse me, and he just undercut it, steps in front of it. Oh, and guess <laughs> what? Your dreads are part of your uniform. It's fair game to get tackled by it. And that's uh, Eli Wilson on the tackle. That's a tight end. That's how you make a tackle when yeah. you're a tight end. It's a handle. You, you date Taylor Swift and you tackle by the, <laughs> the hair. You're tight end these days. I see that reference there. <laughs> so here's Jaya Wright. That was a second pick, by the way for A.J. Watts, free safety. Out of Columbus, Georgia, here's the give, and I would stay on the ground probably as much as you could here, and Smith with that carry. Eight of six that time. You get six yards on first down. I tell you what, that momentum back on the side, four turnovers now for App State after that interception of Joey Aguilar. Slowing it down here. And I'll tell you what. And how about ULM on the season coming in plus five in turnovers. They're now plus seven after the plus two today. Here comes a rush blitz that time. But first down yardage again from Hunter Smith. The sophomore has had a nice second half. Had those big runs against Army. Yep, they're going to run the power. Right into the blitz, it worked out perfectly for the Warhawks. Good cut. So a fresh set of downs and they're knocking on the door again, the 29 yard line here. And the clock is their friend leading by two. Remember that's a missed extra point. That's why they're sitting at 40 as Wright's gonna keep it around that right side. He's been the running king today and he has another first down near the 10. You know, he, there was no film on Jaya that would make you think that he's the nope. running threat that he is. And in that split zone read there, slash RPO, watch him hold that in. He's got it. That's he, 15 has got the quarterback. But he misunderstood the speed of Jaya, I guess. It was Thomas, Thomas Davis you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Thomas Davis froze his feet. First down and 10. App State on their heels right now. Another red zone visit here for ULM. Trying to pick up a... Big, big, big win. See his numbers down there in the bottom of your screen. Just an elite caliber performance tonight for Jaya Wright. Handoff for Smith, and he's wrestled to the ground down at the seven. Yeah. Andrew and Parker Jr. made the stop. So far, for the Warhawks, this drive is a success, regardless of what happens here, with them being able to chew up the clock and get in the field goal range. So barring a missed kick, they're guaranteed at least three points. So when is uh, Ty Howell going to get targeted in the end zone? <laughs> That's my question. Well, looking at, at Jaya's eyes, right? he's already peeked over there. But you can see they got that safety cheated out a little bit further to help out with the slant. And Howell's at the bottom of your screen, actually. Handoff goes to Smith. He battles his way down to the one. Just good running. We've seen success right now running the football. And Kyle Arnholt made the touchdown saving tackle here. And you got to think, you see there, Appalachian State is bringing in some 
some fresh bodies because at this point in this humidity out here, it's a little different than mm -hmm. Boone, North Carolina. It is. And it's been a high-paced game. You got to think that, some, that you're starting to get a little winded. About 30 degrees, nearly hotter than it is in Boone here in Monroe, Louisiana, on the bayou. Will they do the quarterback sneak here with right? No, he hands off. This is the big back, Thad Franklin, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and that's, that's a, a beautiful play there by Marcus Clark on the penetration to set up a third down, a, a, a huge third down here. And if, if the Mountaineers can hold him to three, that's a win for them. Oh, no doubt about that. Because yeah. that keeps a, a touchdown still taking the lead. You know, you kick a field goal here, makes it a five-point game. Yes, that makes a, a field goal not beat you, but... But six gets the job oof. done. We'll see what Terry Bowd wants to do here. Oh, that's, it's like so, like, what do you do? Do you go for requiring Appalachian State to, to score to win? Timeout. Monroe. ULM will take the timeout. Of the half. Or do you make it a two-possession ball game? by going for it if they don't get it here in third down. We'll step aside. We'll ponder that. Big fourth down play coming up right after this. You run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. We love our house. It's on a great block, tree-lined streets. The neighbors are observant. And we're back at the Sullivan house. It's lawn day, Sheila, and the leaves are piling up. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Mm, nothing but air. I hate to see that. Geico, bundling made easy. Ford, you see the name driving down almost every road in America. But you'll also find it in other places, on the grip of hammers raising homes, in toy boxes, and classrooms. Because over 2,900 Ford dealerships nationwide means more people serving more communities like yours for more than 120 years. Ford, we are all in on America. Once you pick up an Arby's cheesesteak, it's going to be tough to set that thing back down. Hey, put it back. The commercial is not over. Arby's, we have the meat. Yeah, with Metro, there's no contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. There's not a yada yada. Wait, Metro has not the contract yada yada? Yada yada yada. With this surprise yada yada. Price hike yada yada. Yada 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 yada. Contract yada yada. And this yada yada. I don't know, kid. That one makes sense. Nada yada yada means wireless without the gotcha. No contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. Only at Metro. Back here in Monroe, some Sunbelt action. Some great Sunbelt action here around the conference. Boy, fourth quarter at Texas State Southern Miss game going to go down to the wire. Some really, really good games. Starting to see some things sort out a little bit in this conference. South Alabama will be here in Monroe next week. They lose to a very good James Madison team. Talk about a team like App State going from FCS to FBS and having success. James Madison, they have a lot of resources and they're putting it into their football program. James Madison got what they call old money <laughs> in their in their coffers. Yeah, and App State going FBS and not having success dominating. Here we go. ULM's going to go for it on fourth down at the two yard line. Right. What the is hit in the backfield and dropped a sack for Turn Appalachian State. Appalachia. I'm not really sure what First was down. going in that. Desmond, I know you didn't know no, what was happening a, what there. The What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. That What an interesting call. Wow. Hey, how about the call? Very interesting call. Head scratching call. But how about App State? That is major. So he's going to go for a, an RPO. The tight end was open there in the back of the end zone. I don't know what Jaya saw. Well, give uh, this App State defense a lot of credit. They sniffed it out very quickly. 
and got it home quickly. Here comes App State down by two. They got to go down the field here as that pass is caught on the far side by Horn. And he's out of bounds with the first down. Remember that play, folks, because now all the Mountaineers need is three. Three wins it. That may go down as the what the play. Yeah. <laughs> as, as Horn makes another great catch here is this App State team. You know, when you're on the road in conference play, Desmond, you know how it is. It's just survive. Mm -hmm. In this drive, you see the, the total yardage on either side is that time Noel is wrapped up immediately. And I tell you what, give this ULM team, yes, they've given up a lot of rock by yards, but they have really held Noel in check in this stable of running backs for the most part in check today. Yeah, absolutely. Especially on that stretch zone there, which is half state's bread and butter. They've really adjusted here late in the game to it. 184 yards rushing combined. Back to pass, Aguilar over the middle. He has his man, that's Caden Robinson, and another App State first down. And that's gonna flip the field. They're, they're not far away from field goal range yet at this point. Seventh catch, that leads App State receivers today for Robinson. And again, out of that, that, that formation that App State loves, stretching the zone. He's hit nine different receivers today as Aguilar, is that Run goes up the middle. 3.40 to go here in this fourth quarter. ULM only has one timeout remaining. App State has all three. And all they need is three to win the ball game. And they are in no rush right here, especially when you're picking up five yards on first down. Look at Noel, another 100-yard game is sixth in a row. 18 carries. Under pressure, Aguilar is going to scramble with it. And he'll run it out towards that 50-yard line near that first down marker. But it will be third down and short coming up. Yep, got a shift change here on ULM's defense. That defensive end up top, he's just going to get way too high. That's, that's Aiden Huntington trying to get pressure on the quarterback, but got out of his lane, and the quarterback steps up. In correction, they actually did give him the first down, so it's first and 10, a good spot there at the 49-yard line in ULM territory. Aguilar back to pass, check down, and he hits his receiver, his tight end, Eli Wilson, for a short gain there on first and 10. Yeah, Eli Wilson has been a, a big, trustable target there for Aguilar. He's running that over route, comes all the way across the formation, hits him. This uh, App State team not in a big hurry right now. They're in plus territory. They trail by two. Fumble. And this time a snap is, I don't know if that just didn't come through cleanly or what, but Aguilar, whew, I tell you what, everybody <laughs> breathing on that sideline, a sigh of relief there. Hold on to your butts. Did he dribble? I think it hit the motion man. It hit Wilson in the leg as he went in motion to go past. Wow. Bad luck. Almost the fifth turnover of the ball game, but it's third down now, third and nine. Big time play right here for both teams. Aguilar looking over towards the sideline. You would think one of those crossing routes potentially under pressure. This defensive line doing a great job again, and he just has to throw it away on third wow. down and nine. The and, pressure. And they had some deep routes going on with the trips up top, so it took time for them to come open, and he had pressure. He didn't have time for those routes to develop. Flushed out of the pocket there. And then you got Drickers coming down to apply the pressure at the end and just make him throw it away. He did not want to throw that ball away. And James Smith breathing down his neck, Driggers. And they're going to go for it here. That front for ULM. They've given up yards, but they have come up with some big stops. And this the biggest play of the ball game. Fourth and nine for F State. Aguilar back to pass. He's, open. He's flushed. He's going to run with it. He is hit near the first down. He needs the 39, and I think he's short. I, it looked like he got it from here. Oh, wait, wait. It's going to be close. Where they're marking, it looks like he's short. About a half a yard. And ULM wow. realizes it. What a stop by this Vic Coning defense. 
It'll be first and 10 ULM, a minute 26 to go. Needed nine, got eight and a half, Desmond. Can you, and if that spot stands, but I'm sure they're going to take a look at it, that's pretty much the tail of this game. Inches so far. And they tell your defense you've been getting scored on all night. All you need to do is get one more stop than your opposing team. Flushed him out of pocket. He tries to step and he's just trying to make it happen. I'll tell you why. The ruling on the field of being short of the line of the game is under yeah, review. Yeah, they're definitely going to want to okay. take a closer look at that because it was very close. That was, that was Lou Tillery, zero, who came in from behind. If this does stand, I mean, he did gain eight and a half, but he stopped him shy of getting that first down. And now it's in the hands of the replay officials. So let's take a look at it. He needed the 39. So our referee, Javaro Edwards, Steve Joest, the replay official. Needed the 39 and a half, it looked like, for a first down. Needed the 39. I think he got to the 39 and a half. So let's look at that 39-yard line and see when he is down. His, his knee comes down there. Where's the ball? Yeah, I don't think he – I think he's still a half yard, at least shy of the first down. I think it's one of those things where they may not – even if – Do they have the angle? It looked closer than – I. at least I think it was. You don't have enough evidence there to, to even – Try and overturn it. I thought it was bang bang. Um, first look, I thought he he had it. Just on momentum. Spots are such a relative. Yeah, to where you're standing. It's kind of like balls and strikes in baseball, and that's my my day job with the yeah. Double A, the uh, Mississippi Braves. We we don't have the automatic balls and strikes. We don't have the automatic where you're down. But this was so so close. Yeah, he's down right. I just don't see anything that's going to overturn this, Desmond. And you, I After think you're going to be right. The ruling on the field stands. Did not gain the line of game. First down, Monroe. And with uh, Appalachian State, they have three timeouts, correct? Three timeouts. So you got to get at least a first down here. Yeah. So, so. they might, if they, if they can get a stop here, there's still hope for the Mountaineers, but regardless, that is a monumental stop there for the Warhawks. ULM knocked off App State only one time. That was back in no, back in 2017, November 4th. 52-45 was that final. 40-38 mm. the score here. That was here at Malone Stadium. Last time they played here in 2020, it was a 31-13 App State victory. They need one first down. As the handoff goes to this left side, Woolard slides down to stay inbounds. That was a very, very smart play. He gets five. Timeout. Very heady play. App State. It is their first of the half. Like he was playing baseball yep. out there. Your sport. And I know every coach kind of, they, they, they heart stops when they see their running back running towards the sideline. We'll step aside. Don't go anywhere. We got 116 or maybe. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. We love our house. The outdoor space is great, but we do have invasive weeds. I think we got in the house. I think you're right. Why are you so strong? At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. We save so much. You want me to get the spray stuff? Get the spray stuff. Where is it? He's up here! For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. 
In Arby's opinion, the cheese steak is perfect. And you don't mess with perfection. Arby's does. Arby's, we have the meat. Yeah, with Metro, there's no contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. There's not a yada yada. Wait, Metro has not the contract yada yada? Or this surprise yada yada. Price hike yada yada. Yada 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 yada. Contract yada yada. And this yada yada. I don't know, kid. That one makes sense. Oh. Nada yada yada means wireless without the gadget. No contacts, no price hikes, no surprises. Only at Metro. Look at head coach Terry Bowden. He's wanting a signature type win here at home for the Warhawks. They are a stop or a first down away from doing so. They got a big stop on fourth down. And now Jaya Wright is going to hand off and hit in the yeah. backfield. And stopped immediately as Woolard. And App State will take another timeout. They have one left, and third down and long is coming. Not a very productive second down there. Yeah, and great call there by App State. They knew that they knew the zone was coming, so they sent the blitz. Shields Visa is more than just a card. It opens doors to exclusive rewards. It's the freedom to go. It's a gateway to explore and to do more of what you love. Imagine where the Shields Visa can take you. Join us in discovering endless possibilities. Shields Visa. Together, we've got this. How good does it feel when Threshold Decor welcomes more seasonal style for less? When you can save on good and gather groceries and all the fall flavors. And when quality ingredients bring more to the table. When you get low prices on the latest trends. When rewards come with quality and coziness. And when you're serving up tastes they love at low prices. That's Totally Target. I'm always trying to find an edge, always trying to get better for the next game. UFOS is one of those things I take value in. The quicker you can recover, the quicker you can be back out there playing 100%. UFOS definitely helped me recover faster. Pain doesn't care who you are or why you hurt, but pain can be mastered if you know the way. Fight back with Tiger Balm's legendary herbal power. Trusted for over 100 years, our proven blend of camphor menthol and essential oils tames pain with the strength and speed of the tiger so that you can rise above pain and get back to living. This is the way of the tiger. Knowing how filthy Sid's wrister is means knowing why goalies lose 10 pounds of sweat every game. Knowing the puck drops October 10th means knowing the wait is over. To know hockey is to love hockey. The NHL on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. It's an opening night triple header on ESPN and ESPN Plus. Lowe's knows to expect the unexpected. So when you need an appliance fast, we've got you covered with trusted brands the moment you need them. You don't have to sweat the unexpected. Get what you need when you need it now at Lowe's. Well, it's been a fun one here tonight, and we aren't done yet. A minute 16 to play in regulation. 40-38 ULM on top. It's third down and nine. One first down it will do it for him. Right going to keep it around this left side. He jumps forward or dives forward, but he's short of the first down. And it'll bring up fourth down for ULM. And they'll take their last time out. Running that read option. How about him pulling it? and doing his best job right impersonation of running for as a QB. Got really close to getting that first down there. Oof. But he all got right. close to the sideline too, which makes all the coaches kind of tighten up a little bit. All right, Desmond, fourth down and three. You need three yards to win the football game. Did you see what happened when they went for it at the goal line? <laughs> I'll punt that thing away, put my defense on the field. Here's a look at what's coming up for ULM after 
tonight. They'll have South Alabama here at home next week. Be right here on ESPN Plus. And then they go to Texas State, Georgia Southern. There is plenty of time on this clock. Now, them having to burn the timeouts help, but the Mountaineers have plenty of time to get in the field goal range here, with, especially with a good return. Now, Gilbo shanked the last punt. It was only 20 yards. This one's a line drive kick. It's going to go out Shank of bounds. Two. And where did it go out? I don't think this one was as bad as the last one, but it'll be at the 20-yard line even when it went out of bounds. So technically, now let's look. Last week at Wyoming to close out that first, first to half, Michael Hughes hit a 50-yard field goal. It was a career long. So that means you got to get down to the 33-yard line. you got, you got to think. Remember, this is the third game now that Appalachian State has had the ball with the opportunity to score a, yep. a, a, a walk-off touchdown. Last they week, lost the last yep. two. It was an interception there yeah. thrown by Aguilar. So they have a minute to no timeouts. Aguilar crossing route. Horn dropped it. Whoa. And he had some no, space. No, he caught it. No, he, he did catch it. He, he, he did it. catch it. I thought he did that, drop it. It might have been better for him to drop it, <laughs> uh, depending on considering they don't have any uh, first downs. Gain of Time four. Outs. Clock runs 45 seconds, and now we have a whistle. All start. Wow. Not a good start for Appalachian State. Now, is there a runoff here for it to be an offensive penalty? Now, it was pre-snap. Wow. Yeah. False start. Offense. All 11 players never were set before the snap. Five yards. We play second down. There's also a 10 second runoff. Yeah, there's because a runoff. The clock was live. So please take the game clock to 32 seconds. That is massive. Costly penalty there. So second down, 11. No timeouts remaining for App State. Look for the under routes. Aguilar will take a throw down the middle, overthrows his intended receiver, Wilson, and it's third down. That was a very dangerous throw. Now what they're doing, they're running trips and then they're running the trips off and trying to leak that tight end on over routes underneath that. And it worked, it almost worked the play before when he dropped it. So they don't have to get it all in one whop if, if, you're, if you're Appalachian State. You, just, you gotta get the first down, get Terry, the clock stopped. Terry Bound over there. That humidity not impacting <laughs> TB at all over there. Third down, you see six of 12, App State. You're in four down territory. Yeah. Aguilar, again flushed, looking towards the sideline. He has a man at the 33, and that's Caden Robinson. And when he had to have it, he makes a great pass on the rope, on a rope, and he gets out of bounds to stop Fif the clock. 15 seconds now. You got to at least try to get some kind of chunk. Now, the clock does stop on a first down. Yeah, it's, and pretty much the middle of the field is closed to them right now. They Unless don't have enough time deep. to clock it. Unless it's deep, Aguilar surveys, fires, hits a man. Again, Robinson out of bounds at the 49. Nine seconds remaining. That was massive there for him to get out of bounds. You need about 15 yards yeah. here to give your kicker a chance. And do they have enough time? They, couldn't they complete a middle of the field route and clock it? Probably not. It would be, yeah, it would be yeah, very tight. I would say no. So very it, tight. It's going to be sideline uh, side routes, out routes, hitches. Back to pass Aguilar. He has a man at the 38-yard line. Out of bounds goes Robinson. And this is range with four seconds remaining. I don't understand ULM's coverage. They're playing soft zone, knowing that they don't, they're going to run hitches. They're going to run out routes. What's that about? So here comes Michael Hughes to try and win it for Appalachian State. He had a career-high 50-yarder last week. This will be from 54. Very makeable.
the junior from Charleston, West Virginia. With the chance for the walk-off. Kick is away. It looks good. It is good. Appalachian State wins it 41-40. What a kick in those in that situation. Game on the line. Away game. It's going to be a fun playing ride home for the Mountaineers. From 54 yards out, Michael Hughes may never have to buy another meal and boon in his life. I can tell you he won't. Unbelievable heartbreak. Yeah. Heartbreak for ULM. What a game by the Warhawks. Resiliency by the Mountaineers and a missed opportunity there for the Warhawks. Go back to that extra point missed. Go back to the going forward on fourth down. 